Welcome back to The Breakdown. I am your host, De La Clem, De La. And um, I want to continue the conversation we were having about the deficit in Dalton. In Dalton. Um, in our last conversation, up until um, the beginning of August 2023, the person who sits in the mayoral seat of Dalton, Tiffany Henyard, was still denying a deficit. At that time, um, I believe uh, Trustee Jason House was saying that financials were showing a deficit of $2 million. Now, in the last meeting in August, um, we saw that the um, administration had started doing some real pookie type shit. <clears throat> very, very pooky type shit, where they began breaking down the payments that the board approved into smaller checks. Well, here we're going to see more conversation about those checks being broken down. And we're going to finally, for the very first time, on September 5th of 2003, see Tiffany Hinyard admit that there is a deficit in Dalton. The way she gaslights it, though, is fucking nuts. Now, we've been watching meetings from June, July, August, and here we are in September, where she's been flat out denying that there was a deficit. Now, here in September, she finally admits there is one, but of course, it's not her fault. Y'all, let's begin. Trustee Norwood. Aye. Trustee Stan Brown. Aye. Trustee Tammy Brown. Aye. Trustee House. Aye. Trustee Holmes. Aye. Trust Trustee Belcher. Aye. Motion passed. All right, next we have corporate bills of Stan Brown. Thank you, man. Welcome. They're trying to pay me the approval. Uh, for July the 31st, 2023, corporate payments, $154,489.42. Water fund, $368,898.74. Federal forfeiture, $11. Sewer funds, $1,706.36. American Rescue Plan, $3,880.44. Melanie Fitness Center, $334.81 for a total. Now he doing all right, because we only talk about thousands. Corporate payment of $529.520.77. Is that motion? Is that second? Second. Is that motion at second? Any discussion? Do we have any recognized? Go ahead. <clears throat> now, I, I have wanna, some questions. I want to draw your attention to this conversation. Uh, Stan was just for shits and giggles at this point. He's just for entertainment purposes. But I am keeping track of these numbers in my head. I am keeping track of the fact that every month the corporate payments are $1 million more than they were last month. But the, the financials are showing a deficit. Now, in this very next conversation, Trustee Kiana Belcher, Trustee Kiana, keep the receipts Belcher, is going to open up a discussion about the lease payments on some of the vehicles. In reference to the corporate bills, I mean, the electronic corporate bills, because normally some of these vendors that's on our Electronic payment, which have been paid with credit cards, would be on our AP warrant list. Is there a reason why uh, some of my preference to go electronically versus the AP warrant list? I would know which ones are you speaking of. Uh, DJ Ezra Israel, uh, he had a, a credit card payment for twenty nine hundred. And a credit card payment for thirteen hundred, but normally he's on the AP warrant list. And then even if you look at his invoice, his invoice say payment met this check money with our cashier. So is it a reason why he's yeah. being paid with a credit card versus? It could have been he needed the money to buy whatever he needed to purchase at the time, whether it was lease something. Um, could have been a number of reasons why people ask for payment um, via electronic. Now, my next question would have been, can we um, show record that that vendor requested payment 
electronically via the manual check. But, you know, that would have been my question. But I'm definitely not saying uh, Trustee Kiana Belcher did anything wrong here. But I think that question would have been helpful. Okay. All right. And then my other question is with all these lease payments, why are the lease payments electronic payments versus um, AP warrantless payments? Well, lease payments have always been electronic as it relates to making sure they have their payment. It's an automatic so that that way we never miss the payment. So okay. at least it's something that the village has. We always make sure we pay our bill. All right. So since you're answering the questions, question about one of these leaks. She said since you answering the questions. Because, you know, sometimes she won't answer. And sometimes she act like she don't know. But today you the one answering the questions, right? You know everything about the financials right now. Okay, cool. Let's go. This is, um, and I'm doing this just in reference to I've been questioning it. I asked, we had a meeting, uh, myself and Trustee Stan Brown with uh, Tanjanique. I asked for a copy of the leases because September 2021, we approved for Enterprise for the police cars to get. Then we start getting all these other vehicles and it was just, <clears throat> I want to say, erroneous to me. The fact that we have purchased vehicles of eighty-one thousand dollars in the interest on it, twenty-nine thousand total the price is one hundred and ten thousand for just one of these vehicles. Now, mind you, if you did that math, just the rough math, we're talking about twenty-five percent interest on one vehicle. That is fucking crazy. That is fucking ridiculous. I don't know of anyone who's leasing a vehicle at 25% interest and you don't even own it. Like what kind of bad credit and dumbass decision making are you participating in where you have a 25% interest rate on because I mean 20 is 25% of 80. We just did that math real quick in our head. The lease amount is 80,000. The interest is 20,000. That's 25%. I did it for you, Tiffany Henyard. Uh, we have we have four or five of these vehicles at this amount. And then when it gets to four or five vehicles where $100,000 is being paid out annually just in interest. $125,000, that's, that's a few salaries. That's a few actual programs, like uh, financial literacy, uh, political education, um, how to write a business plan. Those are, you know, STEM programs. That's $125 where you could have set up a, a week-long technology summer camp. And that's just interest to a bank. And those weren't even being paid. But let's see if Tiffany Henyard catches the interest amount, does the math in her head, and even has a problem with it. The bottom. You can tell people who aren't used to dealing with money and making financial decisions or even understanding the power of negotiation. Of course, a car dealer is going to present you with some dumb shit like this you don't have to pay it oh my god it says it's signed off by you and ten janique for at least for at least okay for any vehicle here in the village about we have uh, we have increased she don't even understand the question that was just asked to her the question wasn't asked are you okay with it obviously you are bitch you signed on it stupid hoe the question is are you understanding what you agreed to dumb bitch Mayor, governor of the city. Public works. We mm -hmm. have increased the fire department, the police department. So everyone needs vehicle right now. You guys have them. And please stop depending on people to represent you who say police. The word is police. If a person says that word that way, it tells you everything. 
driving around with no air, no heat. Cars did not work. Cars did not start. Some of them use their personal vehicles. So I'm, I'm fine with a lease. I'm not so any disputing, other questions? I'm not disputing that. I have a question. Well, you just asked, and then you said because I'm I signed off on it. I am okay with that. I'm okay with that. Even with the interest. I'm okay, okay with the okay. lease that we have because All we right. need it. Okay. All right. Thank you. For the record, even with the interest. Now, we just did the math in our head and saw that this was a 25% interest rate. You should not be signing off on a lease with a 25% interest rate. That is Googleable common sense. What is a fair interest rate for a lease? Maybe 1 or 2%, maybe 3 or 4, maybe 6? Maybe. Maybe. Zero percent for a municipality with great credit. That's out there. And they probably could have negotiated for it. But they don't know how. These aren't people that do this in their own personal lives. These aren't people that walk into car dealerships and negotiate car deals for themselves. These are people who go into car dealerships and sign on a dotted line. And then hope they can pay for it. These aren't people who know how to read a, 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 an invoice for a vehicle and know what was paid and what the buyback is, the hold back. These aren't people who are aware of, 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 of dealer bought interest and that the dealership can stack interest on top of what the bank already charged just to make more money. These aren't people that know how to negotiate the price of an extended warranty to make it make sense. These aren't people that understand how to buy a vehicle for themselves. For themselves, Tiffany Henry didn't have a vehicle when she became mayor. These aren't people who understand how to provide these things for themselves in a fiduciarily responsible way where they're not paying out a whole bunch of money just because they want something. You don't always have to pay what the dealer says. I had a dealer tell me, maybe I'm looking at the wrong vehicle. No, bitch, maybe you looking at the wrong vehicle. And I bought that vehicle for what I said I was going to pay for it for. Not a dime more. Not a penny fucking more. Now, how you going to run a city and you don't even know how to buy a car? All right. Any more questions? All right. Please call around. Trusty Norwood. Aye. Trusty Stan Brown. Aye. Trusty Tammy Brown. Trusty House. Aye. Trusty Holmes. Aye. Trusty Belcher. No. No. See, some people are so dumb that you got to trap them and they lie. They got some dumbass roaches in China. Them roaches will come out, run away, and then come back out. <laughs> All you got to do is wait for them. This is a ridiculous conversation to have to have in public. And the fact that the people in the room aren't, <gasps> aren't gasping because of the fucking ridiculousness that was just displayed in front of them is, an, is a testament to the reason why this woman sits in a lime green suit in a seat with a name tag that labels her as the mayor of this village. Gotcha, now you're going to want them to ride around. Yeah. All right. You got fucking Tyrone Biggums running somebody's town. I'm gonna let them go. Um, Sam Brown, trusty Sam Brown, stay out of floor for the next one. Sure do. Come on, the warrant registered for September the fifth, twenty twenty-three. Corporate payments: two million thirty thousand two hundred thirty-six dollars and eighty-four cents. Gross payroll for eight. I swear, when Stan started reading these bills, the corporate payments were like six hundred thousand. I'm telling you. When he started reading these numbers, and that's why I say they've gotten worse. When he started reading these numbers, they were not even in the millions. Honey. 1123, 452,668,086 cents. That nigga said 452,668,082 cents. Oh no, I'm not going to let that go. There was a lot I didn't even point out in the last video. I'm not going to let that shit go. Because this is a real problem. 
in, in, in September 5th of 2023 when we see the same shit happening in March of 2024. I'm not letting that go. Corporate payments, $2,030,236.84. Gross payroll for 81123 452668 cents. That's what he said. Gross payroll. He didn't even catch it. I mean, we read commas as millions. We read commas as billions. We read commas as thousands. I'm sure that wasn't four. Five eight comma six five eight point no, nigga you can't read numbers. I really think he should be at home practicing how to read different. I mean, when I was preparing myself to receive what I was manifesting, I started practicing how to read the numbers, the bigger numbers, out loud without being nervous, without being afraid, without um, without trembling inside my heart. I had to practice becoming comfortable with those bigger numbers so that I would even be able to open my heart to receive them, so that I wouldn't have limiting beliefs about them, so that I would be able to walk in them comfortably and not feel like I was supposed to be uh, grateful because somebody owed me something. No, this is these are my numbers. Do you understand? I'm talking about limiting beliefs and actualization and a person being over a finance committee who can't even read the numbers. August 25th, 2023, $530,078.58. Melanie Fitness Center, $2,057.76. Total corporate payments, three million fifteen thousand forty two dollars and four cents. All right, is there a motion? And you're not gonna tell me that look on his face right now is god damn they spent a lot of money. Cause those numbers at that point, I don't think I've ever heard a three in front of the million. Last month it was two. Y'all. He's noticing these numbers getting higher and higher. Why isn't he questioning anything? He's the chair of the finance committee. And if you notice, if you go back and watch these videos, and they are in the breakdown playlist, as well as on the Village of Dalton website, because legally, while she can turn off the comments, she has to keep these videos going. Okay? It would look so crazy right now if she didn't record these videos. So, these lives have to be posted. OK, and if you go back and look over time, you will see these numbers have gotten high. When I said these started out as a report, he was reading in the hundreds of thousands and then it slowly went to million. And then last month it was two and now it's three. And this is the month she finally admits there's a deficit. But ooh, watch who she points the finger at. Now, this is the very same Stan Brown who's come in my comments and said, when you point fingers at somebody else, you got three pointing back at yourself. Oh, nigga. But when, when, when she does this blame shifting thing, I need to hear him come on the mic and say it, but I never do. Y'all, this is crazy. Is there a second? Second. It's been a motion and a second. Any discussion? If I can be recognized. Go ahead. And before uh, Jason House, Trustee Jason House is recognized, let me just remind us, by, by then, by this point, uh, the person who sits in the seat as the mayor of this village who said it is her job and her duty to protect the village at all times is well aware that trustee Andrew Holmes is a rapist and he drugs people. He's she's well aware of it at this point. OK, so we know why he's going to vote and, 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 and support everything she says. We also know why he ain't going to say a mumbling word in this whole goddamn meeting. And we also understand now why his hairline is rapidly receding. Okay, um, this warrant list, I'm not in favor of all items on there. I do, if um, the board sees fit, would like to ask for an amendment on there. I think we have some previous um, approved items from previous warrant lists that still have not been taken care of. And I don't want us to continue going further in the whole. I hope that we can start to address some of them. 
Here's the mention. Here's the first time it's mentioned. We have previous approved items from previous warrant lists that still have not been paid. Now, let's establish this before lime green soup starts to talk. A deficit is not created by not paying bills. A deficit is created by removing money. Because the deficit is in the general fund. The general fund does not have a quote unquote budget when you look at it. It's not balanced. It's just like if you look at your checking account and then you look at your notepad where you keep your budget. If your checking account has money in it, you are not at a deficit. Now, you might look at your budget and say, my budget is not balanced. I need to adjust some things, make some changes so that I can balance my budget according to what's in my account. You know, we do that throughout our week Throughout our day, we have our weekend budget, we have our weekday budget, we go on vacation, we got our budget for that. And throughout our vacation, we go back and look at how much money we have versus what we still want to do. And we say, well, let me make some adjustments. Maybe we won't go here. Maybe we will do that. Maybe we have a little extra surplus that we didn't expect because something else turned in and we got a refund or we got a payment from somewhere while we were out on vacation. So now we got extra money to play with. But here's what a deficit is. We're Regardless of what's in your notepad, Tiffany Henyard, Roland Martin, a deficit is when I look at that, that general fund and it ain't no money and the money is spinning backwards. When I was in China, if you had a positive bank account, the number was displayed in red. And if you had a negative bank account, the number was displayed in green. <laughs> that place is crazy. I'm telling you, it's wild. But that's what it was. I knew my money was good when my money was red. <laughs> it's crazy. I never saw my money go green. That's why I stayed there. But it was an interesting concept, a way that people could quickly look and see if they owed the bank some money. And that's what a deficit means, Tiffany, lime green suit, henyard. Previous bills that have been broken into multiple checks that uh, we were informed that we have the money, but people are still not getting paid. There are also other, uh, in addition to that, we do also have outstanding money owed to public works for retro payments for four years of um, payments. So I think we'll want to make sure we get those paid first. So I do have some amendments that I would like to propose to the board. Um, should this vote be unsuccessful? Thank you. All right. Um, is there a motion and second? Please call the roll. I, I would like to make a suggestion. Later. Okay. One second. They're going to vote on this because he basically said he have amendments. So more than likely, y'all going to make a amended motion. So if you want, y'all don't want to pay all the bills, uh, you can vote on it and then make your motion thereafter. Okay. Clerk Keegan, please call the roll. Trustee Dunwood. No. Trustee Stan Brown. Let me be clear on this here. You we'll vote to amend this? No, this is vote. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. This is now, Tiffany Henry, here was your opportunity to treat Stan Brown, Stan Brown as fairly as you treat everybody else. Here was your opportunity to be equitable and show that you disrespect everybody. That when somebody demonstrates that they don't know what the fuck is going on because a whole lot of conversation has happened, you berate everybody. Here was your opportunity, but you didn't. This is uh, the motion to approve the uh, AP warrant list as submitted. Oh, okay. And so if you oh. want the list as submitted, you vote yes. Okay. Um, it would need, in order to get to an amended motion, this motion would need to fail. Trustee Brown? Yes. <clears throat> Trustee Tammy Brown? No. Trustee House? No. Trustee Holmes? Aye. Trustee Belcher? No. Motion failed. All right. Um, is there a motion to pay the corporate bills? Um, yes. If I can be recognized. All right, go ahead. Okay, I would like to make a motion to a motion to pay the corporate bills with the following amendments or items removed. Um, first, discount fence. Items $23,096 on page six. Existing concrete, $14,123.03, page seven. 
five star, $57,625, page seven, K5 Construction, $258,290.06 on page nine, Giants Pro Tree Service, $155,000, page nine, KM Ventures, $100,150 on page 10, Lopez Lawn Maintenance, $10,000 on page 11, Raul and Sons, $144,450, page 15. Prestige Maintenance, $14,425, page 15. SNS Upscale Lawn, $16,740, page 16. Starter Heating and Cooling, $11,500, page 16. Thank Me Later, $520, page 16. And Welsh Ready Mix, $21,878.86 on page 17. So my motion is to pay the bills with the following exclusions. All right, is there a second? Second. And I will share with you that I have no extra insight on any of those bills, except for Five Star being the guy who keeps submitting new invoices for concrete work. Um, with the ice rink, with the skating rink, and throughout the town. Um, at this point now, he probably would consider himself to be owed close to $2 million in the month of February 2023. Is there a motion second? Uh, any discussion? So I'm going to start like this. It's a shame that you guys come to these board meetings and sit here and take people out of the warrant list to be paid. Oh, and I'm going to give y'all a heads up. She talks for a very, very, very long time. Very, very, very long time. A very, 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 very long time. The things that you just named, Trustee House, is services to the residents of Dalton. Speaking of all the vacant property that get cut by those vendors as we speak now. When people call in the I kind of think she might be on cocaine. This is two hours and 20 minutes into the start of a meeting that took 10 minutes to start on camera and started late in person. It's got to be some good shit. And she, she going to go on for longer, y'all. I'm tired of singing over her talking at double speed. But she's not tired of talking at regular speed. There's a mental problem that we are watching unfold here for a person to feel so comfortable taking up space for so long in such a low vibrational way. To pay them, but y'all tell them the truth to people, right? Trying to tell that ass with me, right? Well, let's tell since we tell them the truth, right? So what do you want to bring revenue when we have trustees? She say that they not prepped, but Tanjanique gonna repeat almost everything you just heard this woman say. Okay. Oh Lord. I just look forward to the moment when we can sing. Everybody look out. There's a something, something coming through. Everybody look up. I'm just looking forward to. Can't you feel a brand new day? Can't you feel a brand new day? I'm telling you, y'all, we are all flying to Dalton. And we're going to wear multicolored dresses with big plume skirts underneath. And we are going to dance with y'all in the street. Do you hear me? We are going to resurrect Michael Jackson to come back and sing. Can't you feel a Brand new day. I'm telling you, y'all deserve a party. Not with your own money, though. With with Tiffany, his, Tiffany, Keith, Tanjanique, uh, S Scott Gilmore, um, Stacy Carell, Janice Johnson, Kim, whatever her last name is. 
probably Pete McCain because he be quiet, but uh, he's still over there getting his money. Uh, William, don't pray for me no more. Y'all deserve uh, the restitution money they will pay back to the city of Dalton in millions of dollars. Y'all deserve a party. Can't you feel a brand new day? <laughs> That's what keeps me going. I know y'all will be free from this. Not, and what she has shown you was what Donald Trump showed us as a country. Okay? Sometimes it got to get this wicked out in the open for you to see what's popping. Let me... I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to be quiet while she talks because I just don't think she deserves that kind of respect anymore. But go ahead, Tiffany. Go on. Because at the end of the day, our expenses have increased. So I want y'all to know that and make sure you make personally attacking each and every single... How do y'all keep from jumping up on that podium and whooping her strangly little ass? She's easy. She's easy. Oh, let me, let me, let me not. I don't endorse the violence on YouTube. Um, nothing. Learn the laws. I say that all the time. Learn from me. Because I'm nothing. Y'all got to get out of here. But it's what I I said, I got to learn the lyrics to that song so we can get ready for her incarceration party, honey. Do what I say. Give it to the people. This is literally discussion over amendment to a bill list. She took over the discussion. She said, any discussion, well, I'm going to start it like this. And the attorney didn't whisper to her and say, uh, don't do that. Let them speak first and then you speak because that's the pragmatic thing to do. Her attorneys are some pussies. People get houses for five thousand dollars. If you want to block them, they go to empty house. It's your house. But yeah, y'all keep saying that. Why? Y'all gotta say time out for the nonsense and say, you know what? I'm gonna do something right for change. I'm gonna make this vote. I'm gonna show people that I really wanna be a boss. And that's why I'm thankful for Trustee Brown. If you, uh, I'm not gonna try to break down and make sense out of what she said. But she said, if you listen to what she said, she said, if you live on a block and you live next door to an empty house, it's your house. She's a the trustee, trustee um, home. Because they always, 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 always look out for people, no matter what. I think she's getting tired. I think she's getting tired. I think she's wearing herself out. I think the cocaine has peaked. She got to like snort through her pinky finger or something. Because I believe she take a good old BB King hit before she starts speaking. Who goes on that long? Who? Nobody. Stop calling fake news for every little thing. She tired. Stop. I ain't never seen nobody that wants their town to be in the negative all the time. Never in my life. But it's cool. I'm built for this. Because at the end of the day, this too shall pass. We have one year. Oh, one and, and, year. And let me let you know that what you just heard was her admitting that there was a deficit. Now, if you want me to go back and play it in regular speed so you can hear it real slow, I will let you do that. Oh, you want it? <laughs> You want to hear what she just said all over again so that you can hear her admit to there being a deficit? Well, let me continue first, and then we'll go back. Peace out, back up. And know that I'm going to campaign hard. Y'all know that because I made sure y'all won y'all seats. So y'all know what I'm going to do. She says she made sure they won their seats. Well, let's break that down. How did they all get more votes than her? But at the end of the day, just stop, guys. I'm ready to build our town. I'm still building it while y'all trying to tear it down. How does that look? We can at least look like one band, one sound as we move up here on the board like they do in the other. Uh, y'all, stop letting this lady say that because that makes her sound really ignorant and unprofessional. Nobody inside of a corporate governmental leadership setting outside of like the manager at Radio Shack says one band one sound you don't say this is not a band this is a village they're not coming up with a sound they are trying to be profitable when i worked at when i worked at new birth it started catching my attention when um the 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 the, the leadership started teaching more about unity and not standing out 
And then I moved to China and they had this saying that um, the squeaky wheel gets cut off. <laughs> they would have the kids play this little game where they had to stand in the line and if anybody's head poked up, it got beat. Because they had to learn how to be unified and not speak out and not say nothing and not have any adverse opinion. They're not even taught how to have an adverse opinion. When you speak to most Asian children from Asian countries and you ask them if they like or dislike something, they can't articulate their dislike. They're not allowed to. This is what she's trying to do here. She's trying to religiousize, uh, cultivize, cultivize, create a cultural revolution in Dalton. Even at the beginning of this meeting, Chief Collins, who I have very small amount of respect for, because while I've heard that he's a stand up guy, I did see him at the beginning of this meeting manipulate people into not speaking out by saying, oh, although there's freedom of speech in America, all speech isn't free. But then not go into a very detailed lecture about what that means and what instances apply. Because I know I went to college to understand it, but I'm not going to sit here and tell people all speech isn't free. And not give them the details of what they can say, when, where, how, and why. Legally, inside this political legal forum. No, he gives a blanket statement to scare people into thinking they're going to be sued for speaking against the mayor. Chief Collins, that was some bullshit. That was some pussy ass shit. You owe an apology to the people of Dalton for the ways in which you man manipulated them. You don't start off a meeting and start off a citizen's address as the chief of police by telling people, oh, just so you know, all speech isn't free. So be careful what you say. Fuck you, nigga. You deserve what you got. You help this woman uh, cultural, culturally um, um, uh, uh, imprison these people. You helped her. You helped her, Chief Collins. You get what the fuck you get. Ain't no honor among motherfucking thieves. That's what you get. What you got is what you get. I don't know how you expected that woman to ever treat you well, and you helped her mistreat the people of Dalton. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You were there when she installed Lacey as, as deputy chief. You knew that nigga wasn't shit. Yes, you did. Come on, somebody. Let me let her continue. Ugh. And then I'm going to let y'all hear the whole thing so you can hear the admittance to, yeah, we're going to have to hear that, but I got to speak through this for a second. Mm -hmm. They fight all day long in the back, but when they get up here, they act like they all get along. I'm going to speed through this and get to Tanjanique, and then we'll go back and listen to what the mayor said. Yes, we will. We're still going to speed through some of that shit, but we definitely going to hear the, the confession. We can do the same thing. If people stop trying to act like they need, trust y'all. Y'all came right from my seat. I ran. One by one, so I let my hands go. To approve Will's time. Okay, now, you will, I want to I wanna mention this before we go back and listen to her full confession, because you heard the mention of a deficit. Now, you will hear Tanjanique never deny that there's a deficit. You will hear Tanjanique say the bills that haven't been paid are why there are issues. Okay, and you also hear Tanjanique repeat some of the things you heard the mayor say about the prompt act. Now, if they weren't prepped for this meeting, how is she parroting what this person who sits in the mayor's seat says? Good evening. So um, I want to discuss the outstanding checks that were mentioned. So starting back to October 2022, the board's refusal to approve bills timely violating the prompt payment laws have created a huge backlog of payments. Um, the backlog totaling over a million dollars. Let me stop here. The backlog totals over a million dollars. So what they're doing right now is admitting that there is a deficit. But they're saying the reason why there's a deficit is because the board wasn't approving bills back in October 2022. That's about when the gridlock started. That was about when they started becoming a little bit more stern. Um, I have actually posted videos from November 2022 um, and the conversation that took place there with Ed Steves. And 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 that was about when she blamed uh, that was when she said Jason House got arrested the first time uh, by the FBI. <laughs> uh, but you hear her, you hear here, uh, you hear here, uh, Tanjanique, 
who uses the resume of someone named Audrinique Miller, um, you hear here her mention $1.3 million in a backlog of payments. And now they're trying to blame this on the board. Well, Jason House just said there's been plenty of payments that were approved that haven't been paid. So where's the money in the general fund? Close to $1.6 million. Um, the prompt payment loss. Where's the accurate number, though? close to 1.6 million so you can spin the tail and and, and the, the trustees are still being very diplomatic and allowing them to lie in public when they know that they've gone they've gone they've seen that they be, these bills have been approved for payment and they haven't been paid but the general fund is being depleted how let's continue Wait, upon receipt of an invoice payments must be approved within 30 days with the board's refusal to approve invoices, it's caused significant delays in issuing those payments timely. For instance, Five Star, who we have eight checks here that the board, well, the trustee house is refusing to sign. Eight checks. Why? 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 Why do you have eight checks that trustee house is refusing to sign? Why are there eight checks to pay one Bender, why are there eight checks to pay one bill? What new procedure are you trying to put in place by making them comfortable with doing things against the procedure? And those eight checks are not causing a $1.3 million deficit and what's actually closer to three. Um, and I have them here where you can pass them and sign them. The invoice were passed in July. <laughs> The checks are dated July 17th, so they are not um, sent out to the vendor because they have not been signed. No, uh, no, 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 Tanjanique, Audrinique Miller. The invoices were approved in July for one payment when Trustee House and Trustee Brown, uh, Tammy Brown, and Trustee and Clerk Key went to approve and sign the checks, you broke them down into multiple payments. And there's still no understanding as to why. And there were other payments <coughs> that were approved to be made, excuse me, that still are outstanding. Why? But the general fund is steady being depleted. Why? Um... What else related to those invoices? Um, since October, that was seven months. This is eight checks. July would have been that eighth check. So the checks are broken down into eight payments, and we would like for you to pay them um, by signing and stop refusing to pay this vendor. All right, so just to sum up what she said, you guys need to sign the checks. I don't even understand why Clerk Key didn't sign. Why does Tiffany Henry feel the need to sum up what the finance director just said? That's the finance director. You don't need to sum up what she said. She's the final word. Or do you not understand that? Or do you just feel like talking some more? God damn. Check. So you and Trustee House need to sign the check that was passed by this board and by a four to one or four to two vote or something like that. But I just know it passed. That's when Trustee Brown, Tammy Brown, jumped ship and voted to pay the bills. So then, therefore, she asked for her friends to get paid. We put it on the next warrant list, which it was approved. I want you to think about this for a second. Your mayor is sitting here in a lime green pantsuit, a highlighter green, a neon green pantsuit, a stripper green pantsuit this is your mayor sitting here in a lime a midwest mayor in a lime green pantsuit this is not the avn awards what the fuck get paid and trustee house is refusing to sign this is why you guys don't govern this is why you guys don't have check signing powers because at the end of the day it is up to the mayor the administration as it relates to the day to day but you guys hijacked the bank account too i need the residents to know that so that's what i mean by yeah i'm going i'm gonna sue y'all for that too you in the bank because it took forever to get on the bank but y'all did some little secret squirrel stuff and went to orland and got on the cap now she says she's 25 and oh and she did did file a lawsuit about that and you know what the judge said they're not doing nothing wrong for now go ahead and pay the payroll because she tried to stop the trustees from getting their own payroll 
during this time. Mm -hmm. The judge said the mayor must approve the warrant list. Whatever goes on the warrant list must be approved by the mayor. Now, whatever is, a, whatever is paid on the warrant list still must be approved by the board. Okay? But all payroll gets paid. That's what the judge said. No, she did not win that case. <laughs> Bitch, you so stupid. Which is a shame, but it's okay. Every dog has She's still not on the bank account. They took her off the bank account. She sued. She's still not on the bank account. That's not 25 and 0. I'm sorry. I know numbers and letters. I say that. But I just want you guys to know y'all need to sign the check, trust me, house. Because it's not up to you to dictate how things are paid, how things are paid out, when it's paid out. Your jobs are to vote on bills and make laws. That is it. And for the record, for those that don't know, when you pass a budget, budget, you do know that you voted for everything we do up here, every single board meeting. We just make it into a warrant list to tell you what we have done with the fund. Now, she going to act like she's doing the board a favor by having a warrant list. No, that's an ordinance. There's an ordinance that says things must be approved by the board via a warrant list. That's what they use in this municipality. <clears throat> she going to tell the trustees how to do government. And for months, she told the, told the trustees how to do government. Until the trustees finally said, no, our job is to regulate the finances of, this, of the village. For months, she told them they were overstepping their bounds and they weren't. Whether it's public works, whether it's police, whether it's fire, we write it down to tell you. But the budget that you pass is for the entire year. Check her logic. Nobody's supposed to come to you every single time like, can I buy a pen? Hey, can I buy some tissue? It doesn't work like that. Any now, uh, y'all probably remember that video that I posted where she was like, got a new cup, too. She's also bought $17,000 worth of roller skates, $83,000 worth of, $850,000 worth of concrete for an ice skating rink and a roller skating rink that is not accessed by the public and doesn't bring any money into the village. $150,000 for a Tahoe. Another $150,000 for Keith Freeman's Tahoe. These are things she doesn't have to get approval from the board for because they're in the budget. $90,000 for some fucking ghetto fucking ass, cellophane looking ass, food cover ass, jerry curl cover cap, uh, bubbles. $90,000. $65,000 for Christmas lights. $20,000 for banners throughout the city with her face on them. I think $180,000 for billboards. These are things she thinks that she doesn't have to ask the board for approval for. Not $10 for toilet paper. Nobody minds you going to, 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 uh, to, uh, a, a, a office supply store and getting ink. But even those things have to be approved. Yes, they do. Check her logic. This is all the confession you need, feds. Can you please lock her up? That runs big corporation understand exactly what I'm saying, and you guys should too. So I want to point out to you guys on how you guys are making this out to be, and it don't have to be this way. All right. Go ahead. Who want to go first? Okay. Um, if I could be recognized now. Go ahead, trustee. Okay. So there's so much in there, um, but I'm going to just kind of go to my original statement, which is there are bills that are out there that have been previously approved, still not being paid. The five-star invoice that we're talking about was approved for full payment. I have repeatedly said, because as the mayor mentioned, she says, we have the money. We got grants. We have all of this money. Please put that into one check, which is what the board voted for, or a majority of the board voted for, and pay it. We, I will gladly sign it if you put it in one check and pay. I don't understand why it's broken down in eight checks specifically since you say we have all the money. So my stance on these bills is not, it's saying at this moment, let's hold off on the bills that are mentioned so we can catch up on the previous bills, put it in one check, one check, and it will be signed. I have no problem signing that. Furthermore, as you mentioned, past due in terms of public works, those people have been waiting for four years to get their raise and everything else. 
yet we see fit to put all these other items on the warrant list and pay and overlook the same people that you claim are working very hard. I think that should be a priority to make sure those individuals are paid. As those are paid, I will gladly look at the revisit this list. But as you say, if we have the money, you got the money, you go get the bag. So let's make sure all of these checks are issued. Um, I can't even dignify a lot of the other mess because that's really what I chalk it up to is mess. Um, but if, in terms of a resolution, please put the items in one check as the board or majority of the board voted for. It will be signed. And then and also please reimburse four years of hard works by the public works department. If those items are done, we can revisit these future items and that way we will know that there is money actually in the account because as I'm looking at the financials, last year we had a fiscal deficit of $2.5 million. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Listen very closely. He's looking at the financials that he has access to in September of 2023, okay? He is mentioning a deficit. Tiffany Henry has previously denied that there was a deficit. Now she admits there is a deficit, but blames it on the trustees for not paying the bills. We'll go back and watch her entire confession together. I wanted to get past all of what she said first so you could hear what Tanjanique and Jason said. We'll go back and listen to what she said, but it's important to hear what they said first because she can exhaust your mentality to where you can't digest anything else after that. So we're going to go back and listen to her confession, but I do want them to speak first because she took over the discussion when they should have spoken first. This year we are three months into the works by the Public Works Department. If those items are done, we can revisit these future items and that way we will know that there is money actually in the account because as I'm looking at the financials, Last year, we had a fiscal deficit of $2.5 million. This year, we are three months into the fiscal year. Page 15 of the financials shows a $2.6 million deficit. Again, there are serious challenges that, are, that, we, that we are facing, can be facing, and these items are getting further and further behind, and yet we're pushing new items on the board asking us to pay for it. I will restate one more time. Do you remember Stan Brown's face after he read that $3 million corporate payment when he pulled his face in and looked like a, a politician that had been caught in sexual misconduct? You know that face they make? He realized they're spending more and more money. Every month these bills get harder and harder to read. Every month these numbers get higher and higher. That comma gets pushed further and further more and more digits he realized it he knows that what jason house is saying is correct and if he doesn't open his mouth and speak i'm gonna send karma by his house in the middle of the night please put all items in one check i will sign it i put that in email i will do it in smoke signals if you need to see it one check it'll get signed that's him thank you can I please start with the smoke screens for real I need you to pay the people their money. It's not up to you to pick and choose how we pay. Tanjanique, the finance director, just explained to you how you guys got the bill to be up so high. Because every... Now, when she says how you guys... Now, we may not need to go back and watch her speak because she's, again, double downing on her confession. Let me see. Let me remember how this plays out because we might not need to go back and watch all the foolishness she said because that was about nine or ten minutes of dumb shit. I don't usually put up with dumb shit for that long. Like my, whew, I don't have a tolerance for dumb shit. But she's saying the bill, that how you guys got the bill that high, that's code word for the deficit. She doesn't actually come out and call it a deficit here. She calls it, Tangini calls it a backlog um, of expenditures. She calls it the bill. But what she's talking about is what Jason House has just identified as a $2.6 million deficit. And Tangenique Miller um, slash Audrenique Miller, whoever's real resume that is she's using, um, has identified it as a 
$1.6 million deficit. So in this conversation, we've identified that it's somewhere between $1.6 and $2.6 million in a deficit. And she says it's because they won't pay the bills. Single meeting, you guys took people out. Anybody that pay their bills regular know that if you keep taking the bill or keep putting the bill off each month and another month and another month, guess what? It's going to add up to a million dollars. It's going to add up to two million dollars because you guys chose not to pay anyone. So now we're playing catch up with certain vendors because you guys chose not to pay anyone for several for several months. You're out of order, trustee. You're out of order. Because she's so, lying. It's up to you to sign the checks, have the finance department sent them out to you. And that vendor don't even have a problem with how we're paying him. He even reached out to you, trustee. And for the record, you get the bank account every day. You know what balance we got? You know how much money we got. So stop playing games and sign the check that they voted on at the last meeting that you choose it not to sign. So you're holding up progress. It's not your trust, trustee house. Matter of fact, what them checks at? Give them checks. You sign them checks, trustee. And then Kirk Key sign the checks. That's what y'all need to do because we voted on this already. It's illegal for you guys she not to sign the checks. Them. I got them right here. What? She gonna just make them sign the checks or what? Yeah. That is, get trustee house the checks so you can sign them checks right now for in front of these people. We gonna stop playing these games. We gonna we gonna call a spade a spade. There you go. You sign all the checks right there. All the checks that you did not sign is right there for you and the clerk key signature. Which I don't now do you see Lacey passing those over like like the bailiff? Lacey, that's Lacey. Lacey, the blood is on your hands too, baby. Understand why she ain't signing checks? Because at the end of the day, clerk key, you say I find when the boy votes for it. The boy voted on it. Why you ain't signed? Because you're following Jason. This nonsense. You're following Matt. Stop following Matt. It's going to lead you in a rabbit hole. Don't say I didn't tell you. Okay, make sure, make sure you sign. Yeah, pass out them checks when you're done, trustee out. So she can put up signature on that too. Um, I am worried about what you do because you're holding up progress. I, and I need you to take care of them for you. Please stay in your line. Thank you. This line too fast. Thank you. So next, go ahead, Tangina. You say whatever you wanted to say now. Oh, I said all right. Okay, okay. All right, go ahead. Who else? Who else? I recognize. recognize. Go ahead, Trustee Norwood. Oh, we we saw the discussion, correct? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. First, Mayor, you sit up I here and you mentioned him. smoke. I so I hope you guys saw him pass those checks back. Now, before Trustee Norwood speaks, because what she has to say is very important, but it may not necessarily be contributory to the finance conversation. She's going to summarize what has already been said. I'm going to go back and we're going to listen to um, Tiffany Henry's rant. It's long, but you're going to listen to her. I wanted you guys to hear Tanjanique and Jason House speak first. Okay? Because, of course, Tanjanique said mostly everything that, 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 that Tiffany said in, in bullet points. The same lies, the same gaslighting, the same misleading statements. Um, Tanjanique is calling it a backlog of, backlog of expenditures. Um, Tiffany is calling it a bill. Jason House is calling it what it is, a deficit. But I want us to go back and listen to her actually describe how this came to be from her perspective. And then we will let it continue and listen to Trustee Norwood. I'm going to go back. Lord, this woman talks for a long fucking time, too. Second. Is there a motion second? Uh, any discussion? So I'm going to start like this. It's a shame that you guys come to these board meetings and sit here and take people out of the warrant list to be paid. The things that you just named, Trustee House, is services to the residents of Dalton. Speaking of all the vacant property that get cut by those vendors, as we speak now, when people call in and ask us to cut down trees, to trim uh, blocks, to maintenance lines, to get rid of the squatters and the vacants, that's bushes and trees all around houses. It's a shame that you would sit here and directly pick out certain vendors because why? 
Like, be recognized? Yeah, you're going to be recognized. But I just want to know why. So just keep these in mind. Why? Why would you do such a thing like that? Every board meeting, we have to come here and fight over uh, paying vendors that did the work. We owe them the money. You do know it's a, a prop act, right? You got to pay vendors. You have to pay them when they do the work. You guys got to stop doing this. And I don't understand how any of you other trustees would sit here on mute and not even pay anybody, Trustee Norwood, Trustee uh, Tammy Brown, and Trustee Kiana Belcher. It's a shame that all y'all will follow that and keep voting down people pay. We have been through this long enough. And for the record, Trustee House, you need to sign the checks. It's checks that you have not signed because you want to sit here and pick out people that you do not want to pay because of your own personal reason. That's unacceptable. You guys are supposed to legislate. I govern the town. When y'all get that in your head of who does what, you guys will move differently here in the village. So now when people call tomorrow and ask for trees to be cut down, when they ask for lawn care service, when they ask for things such as services, what are we to tell them because the board don't want to pay vendors? And it's the same issue we have with the Rip and Window program. You guys don't want to pay the vendors so that residents can get their roof fixed, their windows done. It's a shame. So what's the point of making plans and you guys keep stopping progress? Residents need to wake up and pay attention because it's time to get rid of people like you and some of these boys that's basically a, a bench warmer and not doing the work. Y'all don't do nothing the entire season, but then you come here and dictate who gets paid, when they get paid, how they get paid. It's not up to you. You're not the finance department. How many times like I keep telling y'all that? Y'all do not govern the town. You make laws. Go do what y'all supposed to do, which is make laws, make ordinances. Y'all not doing that. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, uh, y'all do it when it, it affects Tiffany Henry, right? But you don't do what's right for the people. Go do something like that, and y'all not doing it. Y'all go and y'all just sit here and y'all come to every single board meeting and choose not to pay people. That's not right, guys. They have a whole family to feed, too. Just like y'all. But y'all think it's, it's okay. That's not okay. So, vendors, if you're watching this and you see what's going on in the village of Dow, y'all should see these trustees and make sure you check them when you see them on the street about your money. Because at the end of the day, y'all got houses to feed. Y'all got families to feed. And it's a shame that they are coming to every board meeting when they be obsolete for the entire season. Y'all don't do nothing. But then you come here because y'all get to vote on people money on paying them. But then y'all ask questions about, well, um, can we do this, Tiffany? Like, what do you mean? I don't understand. First, first thing, first rule of business is handle your business. You guys are sitting here making a mockery out of the village. Y'all make it where vendors don't want to come and do any work here in the village. And that's a shame because I think we're doing an awesome job here in the village. But you guys keep stopping it every single time. So now those, especially on the west side where you live, Brittany, where people cutting down the trees and now they can see light and they can see to the end of the block. You should not be not voting for it to pay the vendors to clean up the west side of town. And I'm telling that to the residents so they can see what you're doing because you're following people. Stop being a follower and lead sometimes. So my issue right now is that all y'all get together and do the same thing every single time. And I'm going to make sure that we put everything on the record today because today is the day. We're going to let the finance department tell you what y'all ain't been doing. And all these emails that you send back about nothing, but you ain't moving no mountains. My team, my administration, we go out, we go get the money, and this is what y'all do. We go get grant money. We go get everything that we need here in the village that y'all never got ever. We the only administration that's doing um, sidewalks when before y'all did 50-50, right? We the only administration that's actually doing alleys. Y'all never did alleys in the history of Dalton ever. We the only ones making sure y'all streets get paid. We making sure that trees get trimmed. We making sure we clear out the vacancies. We taking care of all the business, right? All the business while y'all just sit there. But we doing the work. We get all the lashes, all the negative stuff, and positive. So thank you to my resident that love what we're doing. Thank you to Trustee Stan Brown. Thank you to Trustee uh, Andrew Holmes. And the only two trustees that always support the residents here and vote for what's right and what's needed in the community. Y'all got to wake up, man. Y'all got to stop being followers and actually do the work. And it's a shame how y'all sit here and take things out. When last board meeting, y'all, let me remind the people, last board meeting, y'all wanted y'all friends to get paid, right? Y'all friends was on that warrant list, right? Your friends was on there, T with the trustee. Y'all spending $1,500, $2,000 for T with the trustee for food for one hour to talk about politics. Come on now. That ain't what we do. But y'all want that to get paid, but y'all voted for it and approved it. 
But y'all, if y'all gonna tell it, tell the records what it really is. Y'all supposed to use y'all own money because y'all always say, we pay for it. Yo, y'all don't. We got invoices for every single T with the trustee to pay them back pay. But y'all telling the, the truth to the people, right? But y'all didn't tell that last boy me, right? But let's tell it since we telling them the truth today, right? So, Tanzanique, um, I'm going to let you talk to them about the things of bills and how bills get backed up because people choose not to pay. And then also, too, some of y'all should consider trustees. Um, y'all do know we pass contracts here, right? Police, um, working on fire now, and public works. Y'all do know that adds to the expenses. So their salaries is not what it used to be. So that means it's going to increase. So what are you doing to bring revenue in here, trustees? Because at the end of the day, our expenses have increased. So I want y'all to know that and make sure you make adjustments for that while you're sitting here voting things down. Because public works can't do it all. And they've been doing a doggone good job by us making sure everybody else is taking care of the business, which is the people that's cutting the trees. They don't have to worry about cutting trees. People have been waiting over 30 years for a tree to be trimmed. Come on, man. Y'all should see them trees. It's ridiculous. It took me to become the mayor to actually straighten it out, to fix it. And I would hope and I would have thought my team that I ran with, Trustee House, Trustee Boucher, never again, that I ran with to get them in their seats that they will vote for meaning progress because that's what we ran on, progress. But I'm the only one putting out progress. All y'all doing is just talking, running your mouths, ain't doing nothing. And then when we get to a board meeting, you want to vote stuff down. That's that's sad, guys. And I don't know what little group that y'all go to that's rooting y'all on, telling y'all y'all doing right. Y'all not. Y'all not winning. I'm telling y'all that now. Every lawsuit y'all put out, y'all lost. Wasting taxpayer money. All because of hatred. Y'all got to stop leaving with hatred. Stop leading with that. Because at the end of the day, all y'all have been in my house. So if we sit here breaking bread together, why can't we sit here and make sure that we take care of the residents? Because we all was on the same team. All. Because the trustee house was going to win. He would have ran with Riley, right? The mayor. But he didn't. Because he knew I was going to win. Trustee Boucher never won none in her life. But she won when I took you, right? So I'm just pointing out to you that how everybody use me. Use me to run for office. But get here and then act like they don't remember what we said we was going to do. We. So when you hear me say what I'm doing, because I'm still producing, I'm still keeping the promises that we made to the people, which is take care of the people, not take care of y'all selves and y'all friends. That's what this is all about, right? That's why y'all upset, right? Y'all need to get y'all self in order. For real. May I be right Because this is the end. You can get recognized after Tangenique speaks. But I just want y'all to know that I'm upset about how y'all keep running the village because at the end of the day, you just come here to place a vote, but you actually don't see the hard work of those families that actually get up every single day and put out for our city. They make sure they come and cut down every tree, every complaint they're here every day. And you guys think it's cute to see and take them out of the, the list. And then if y'all got questions, again, I always tell y'all this, call my phone. Nobody calls me, right? Because we want to get here and grandstand put on the show. For what? For what? I'm tired of it, guys. I wish y'all would do better because I know I want better. Y'all should want better. At the end of the day, don't be upset about nothing because at the end of the day, when you got faith on your life, nothing y'all can do about it. everything y'all try to do to me, guess what? Fail. So all I'm asking y'all is, come on. Let's kumbaya now. Let's get together and actually be at this point, she has talked for 10 minutes. 10 minutes at this point. Still don't like it should be. Every single person loves Greenwood Falls. Everybody. Everybody. So all I'm saying to y'all is come help me build it. Instead of trying to tear it down. That's stuff for the youth. Trustee me, y'all talking about kids, right? I never see you with kids, ever. So all I'm saying to y'all is like, y'all saying all these things, but y'all not producing anything, anything. But y'all go run over there with the park. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all selves. Getting up at press conference, talking about nothing. Learn the laws. I tell y'all that all the time. Learn from me. But because I'm younger than all y'all, y'all think y'all can't learn from me, huh? <laughs> but guess what? I've been winning. 
So I'm just telling y'all, y'all need to learn for real and stop wasting the taxpayer dollars with, with lawsuits, with things that we should not be doing. Because at the end of the day, guess who's paying for the taxpayers? All that money, all these things that y'all just rights for spending for no reason, it's a shame. Y'all should stop because it's not y'all money. I heard y'all got sued too, right? 300 West Sibley, y'all don't want to pay that man his money so he can build out his stuff. Y'all do know he won his lawsuit when the village has to pay out, correct? But yet y'all still doing the same thing. That's shameful. And I was like, I was going to put cases on y'all. I still am, though. For all the things y'all been doing, all the illegal stuff y'all been doing, I'm still going to do that. But he beat me to the punch as it relates to y'all keep holding up people that have been fighting for years, for years, just to get what's owed to them, for what's right. And y'all still, still making a mockery of this village. Come on, man. The time is now to change. And as someone said earlier, change is hard. Change is difficult. I get it. But change is needed, especially in our neighborhood, the black and brown communities. I go get the money, and then y'all don't want to spend the money. What kind of mess is that? I'm the only mayor that's bringing in grant money, right? I'm the only mayor that got the most grant money out of everybody in the state of Illinois. But yet, you guys want to sit and dictate what we do. And I said, give it to the people. But y'all said, give it to y'all friends. Come on. Make it make sense. Block by block. All the houses. I told y'all, let's put them on the tax roll. We ran on that trustee house, trustee Belcher. We ran on it. That we was going to make a program that people get houses for a dollar. People get houses for $5,000. Buy back the block. If you live on the block, you live next door to an empty house, it's your house. But yet, y'all keep saying no. Why? Y'all got to say time out for the nonsense and say, you know what? I'm going to do something right for a change. I'm going to make this vote. I'm going to show people that I really want to build Dalton up. And that's why I'm thankful for Trustee Brown and Trustee uh, Holmes because they're the only two that always, always look out for the people no matter what. And I thought that my team that I ran with would have been the same way. But yet they got their own hidden agenda. I went in the seat two weeks before y'all backstabbed me. So all I'm saying now is okay, it's over with. Y'all did all y'all dirt. Now let's go. Let's be. That's what I need y'all to do. And tell the truth to the people. Stop lying to them. Stop making face, fake, um, I call it fake news. Stop calling fake news for every little thing. Stop. I ain't never seen nobody that want their time to be in the negative all the time. Never in my life. But it's cool. I'm built for this. Because at the end of the day, this too shall pass. We have one year, one year, and y'all feet fly back up. And know that I'm going to campaign hard. Y'all know that because I make sure y'all want y'all feet. So y'all know what I'm going to do. But at the end of the day, just stop, guys. I'm ready to build our town. I'm still building it while y'all trying to tear it down. How does that look? We can at least look like one band, one sound as we move up here on the board like they do in the other communities. They fight all day long in the back. But when they get up here, they act like they all get along. We can do the same thing. If people stop trying to act like they need, trust the house. Y'all can run for my seat. I ran. One by landslide, let me remind you. If y'all haven't caught it yet after 14 minutes of speaking, this is literally Tiffany Kenyard admitting that there is a deficit. You got to read through the lines because she's playing Gemini games. But this is literally her admitting that there is a deficit. She's going to turn it over to Tangenic Miller to explain why, you know, blame it on the trustees. And then Jason House is going to trust It's going to clear it up. Uh, I just need to break it in a little bit because she is tough to listen to. I'll let her continue. Jesus. For those that don't know, please put some respect on my name. Because oh, I'm just tired of the nonsense. Y'all, like, I didn't earn where I sit. I won every single election from trustee of 2013, the trustee of 2017, to the first, the first female African American mayor of Dalton. Respect. So now the first female African-American youngest supervisor in the state of Illinois. Y'all don't even understand the history and the moments that y'all have before y'all that y'all too big trying to tear down. Shame on y'all. Y'all should go talk to y'all elders and that teach y'all something. Because guess who was in our time? Reverend Jesse Jackson. He understand history. He understand this moment. Some things only come once in a lifetime. And you guys are ruining it as it relates to Y'all want so much attention that you rather put negative on the positivity, on the light, the beacon of light that I'm holding over the dog. 
I'm preaching to y'all today, and I'm trying to ask y'all to stop. Because if I could forgive y'all, even though y'all don't like me, I get it. It's cool. But I'm okay with work with y'all. Because at the end of the day, we got to work together. Tangent, you out of floor. Good evening. So um, I want to discuss the outstanding checks that were mentioned. So starting back to October 2022, the board's refusal to approve bills timely violating the prompt payment laws have created a huge backlog of payments. Um, the backlog totaling over a million dollars, close to 1.6 million. Um, the prompt payment law states upon receipt of an invoice, payments must be approved within 30 days. With the board's refusal to approve invoices, it's caused significant delays in issuing those payments timely. For instance, Five Star, who we have eight checks here that the board, well, the trustee house is refusing to sign. Um, and I have them here where you can pass them and sign them. The invoice were passed in July. The checks are dated July 17th. So they are not um, sent out to the vendor because they have not been signed. Um, what else related to those invoices? Uh, since October, that was seven months. This is eight checks. July would have been that eighth check. So the checks are broken down into eight payments and we would like for you to pay them um, by signing and stop refusing to pay this vendor. All right, so just to sum up what she said, you guys need to sign the checks. I don't even understand why Clerk Key didn't sign the check. So you and Trustee House need to sign the checks that was passed by this board and by a four to one or four to two vote or something like that, but I just know it passed. That's when Trustee Brown, Tammy Brown, jumped ship and voted to pay the bills. So then, therefore, she asked for her friends to get paid. We put it on the next warrant list, which it was approved to get paid, and Trustee House is refusing to sign. This is why you guys don't govern. This is why you guys don't have check signing powers. Because at the end of the day, it is up to the mayor, the administration, as it relates to the day-to-day. -day. But you guys hijacked the bank account, too. I need the residents to know that. So that's what I mean by, yeah, I'm going, I'm going to sue y'all for that, too. You in the bank, because it took forever to get on the bank, but y'all did some little secret squirrel stuff and went to Orland and got on the account, which is a shame, but it's okay. Every dog has a day. But I just want you guys to know y'all need to sign the check, trustee house, because it's not up to you to dictate how things are paid, how things are paid out. When it's paid out, your jobs are to vote on bills and make laws. That is it. And for the record, for those that don't know, when you pass a budget, budget, you do know that you voted for everything we do up here, every single board meeting. We just make it into a warrant list to tell you what we have done with the funds, whether it's public works, whether it's police, whether it's fire. We write it down to tell you, but the budget that you pass is for the entire year. Nobody's supposed to come to you every single time and be like, can I buy a pen? Hey, can I get buy some tissue? It doesn't work like that. Anybody that runs big corporation understand exactly what I'm saying, and you guys should too. So I want to point out to you guys on how you guys are making this out to be, and it don't have to be this way. All right. Go ahead. Who want to go first? Okay. Um, if I could be recognized now. Go ahead, trustee. Okay. So there's so much in there. Um, but I'm going to just kind of go to my original statement, which is there are bills that are out there that have been previously approved, still not being paid. The five-star invoice that we're talking about was approved for full payment. I have repeatedly said, because as the mayor mentioned, she says, we have the money. We got grants. We have all of this money. Please put that into one check, which is what the board voted for, or a majority of the board voted for, and pay it. We, I will gladly sign it if you put it in one check and pay. I don't understand why it's broken down in eight checks specifically since you say we have all the money. So my stance on these bills is not is saying at this moment, let's hold off on the bills that are mentioned so we can catch up on the previous bills, put it in one check, one check, and it will be signed. I have no problem signing that. Furthermore, as you mentioned, past due in terms of public works, those people have been waiting for four years to get their raise and everything else. 
yet we see fit to put all these other items on the warrant list and pay and overlook the same people that you claim are working very hard. I think that should be a priority to make sure those individuals are paid. As those are paid, I will gladly look at the revisit this list. But as you say, if we have the money, you got the money, you go get the bag. So let's make sure all of these checks are issued. Um, I can't even dignify a lot of the other mess because that's really what I chalk it up to is mess. Um, but if, in terms of a resolution, please put the items in one check as the board or majority of the board voted for. It will be signed. And then and also, please reimburse four years of hard works by the Public Works Department. If those items are done, we can revisit these future items. And that way we will know that there is money actually in the account. Because as I'm looking at the financials, last year we had a fiscal deficit of $2.5 million. This year we are three months into the fiscal year. Page 15 of the financials shows a $2.6 million deficit. Again, there are serious challenges that, are, that, we, that we are facing, can be facing, and these items are getting further and further behind, and yet we're pushing new items on the board asking us to pay for it. I will restate one more time. Please put all items in one check. I will sign it. I put that in email. I will do it in smoke signals if you need to see it. One check, it'll get signed. It's that simple. Thank you. Uh, please stop with the smoke screens for real. I need you to pay the people their money. It's not up to you to pick and choose how we pay. Tanjanique, the finance director, just explained to you how you guys got the bill to be up so high. Because every single meeting, you guys took people out. Anybody that pay their bills regular, know that if you keep taking the bill or keep putting the bill off each month and another month and another month, guess what? It's going to add up to a million dollars. It's going to add up to two million dollars. Because you guys chose not to pay anyone. So now we're playing catch up with certain vendors because you guys chose not to pay anyone for several for several months. You're out of order, trustee. You're out of order. So it's up to you to sign the checks, have the finance department sent them out to you. And that vendor don't even have a problem with how we're paying him. He even reached out to you, trustee. And for the record, you get the bank account every day. You know what balance we got. You know how much money we got. So stop playing games and sign the check that they voted on at the last meeting that you choose not to sign. So you're holding up progress. It's not your trust, trustee house. Matter of fact, what them checks at? Give them checks. You sign them checks, trustee. And then Kirk Key sign the checks. That's what y'all need to do because we voted on this already. It's illegal for you guys not to sign the checks. I got them right here. Where they at? That is, give trustee house the checks so you can sign them checks right now for in front of these people. We gonna stop playing these games. We gonna we gonna call a spade a spade. There you go. You sign all the checks right there. All them checks that you did not sign is right there for you and the clerk key signature. Which I don't understand why she ain't signing checks. Because at the end of the day, clerk key, you said I sign when the boy votes for it. The boy voted on it. Why you ain't signed? Because you're following Jason. This nonsense. You're following Max. I follow Max. It's gonna lead you in a rabbit hole. Don't say I didn't tell you. Okay, make sure, make sure you sign. Yeah, pay all them checks when you're done, trust me out. So she can put up signature on that too. Um, I am worried about what you do because you're holding up progress. I, and I need you to take care of them for you. Please stay in your line. Thank you. This line too fast. Thank you. So next, go ahead, Tajani. You say whatever you want to say now. Oh, I said it already? Okay, okay. All right, go ahead. Who else? Who else? I recognize. Go ahead, trust me, Norwood. Uh, we, we saw the discussion, correct? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. First, Mayor, you sit up here and you mentioned smoke, which that exactly what we're doing with you in this administration. Smoke and mirrors. You sit here and you tell everybody their job. Your job is this. If we weren't responsible for the finances, we wouldn't need to approve them. If you need our approval, that means we're responsible for the finances. So technically, that is our job. You mentioned someone, me following. If you are a great leader, I would follow. There are ordinances put in place. Now, as the executive branch is to enforce the ordinances, not to tell us what the ordinance is. I'm quite aware of the ordinance. The ordinance states that anything over $5,000 should be presented in front of the board. That's what the ordinance says. So when you have things on here, $25,000, uh, 80000 that sounds like it's over the $5,000 threshold. 
Now, let me mention something, and I appreciate what, trust, what Trusty Norwood is saying here. <clears throat> In a very recent um, interview that Trusty Norwood, no, Trusty Belcher and Trusty Tammy Brown did, um, they mentioned that the threshold was 1500 And I put in the comments, I thought the threshold was 5000 and here it's being confirmed that the threshold is 5000 So anything over 5000 And we saw in the very beginning of Tiffany Henyard's tenure as mayor, um, she was presenting bills that were under 5000 but it would be like $1,799 plus uh, 25 or 35 whatever the balance is, in a different invoice, but it was for the same exact vendor. So she was, uh, she was, she was uh, sneaking it in. She was splitting stuff up that was that was well over five thousand. So let me give you a better example. Um, for the inauguration, she would do stuff like make sure the videographer charged forty six hundred. Make sure the 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 barbecue is only thirty seven hundred. Make sure the tables are only twenty seven hundred. Well, that's over 5000 and she and her attorney were saying that because each invoice was less than 5000 she didn't need approval. Well, for some reason, there wasn't any kind of dictatorial, um, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? I'm looking for it. Um, ordinance. There wasn't a dictatorial ordinance that, that really fleshed out how that money could be used. She really literally thought if there was a $5,000 budget, she could spend it. And each, as long as each thing, I don't think she really thought that because that wasn't what she held the former mayor accountable to, but that's the dumb she tried to play. So I appreciate that um, that Trustee Brittany Norwood is saying this because not only has she gone over the five thousand at this point, but she came in playing with that five thousand dollar number. Now she just balls to the walls and don't give a fuck. She's taking her mask off at this point. But when she first came in, she was doing that little sneaky stuff. To me, so that means that if you are a great leader, you will bring it in front of the board, do the appropriate matters like what they call RFPs, bring it in front of the board so everyone is aware of who's doing the work, what work is being done. You sit up here and act as if when you were a trustee, you didn't mention a tree list. You kept stating the importance of a tree list. But now, as a mayor, because this is something that you want to enforce, you don't feel find it fit for us to get the information. And then you sit here and say, oh, well, they don't want to approve it. How about you bring the RFPs in front of us? We all discuss it. How about we have a meeting, the first meeting that we're supposed to have, which is the county, and then you present the vendors to us. We know exactly what's going on, not just us, but the community. How many times have we heard Trustee Brittany Norwood tell the mayor the person who sits in the seat of a mayor. How many times have we told her, heard her say the same thing? I would be fucking exhausted. At some point, I gotta just punch you in the mouth. <laughs> How many times have we heard her say in the same words, with the same examples, the same thing, yet the person who sits in the seat of a mayor, the person who sits in the seat of an administrator, the person who sits in the seat of a finance director, and the person who sits in the seat of an HR director, act like they don't understand what she's saying. Who's dumb? You dumb. You dumb. The woman has said the same thing over and over and over again. Month after month after month with the same passion and the same zeal and the same vigor and the same respect. And you still don't get it? What is it going to take? It's their money also. If you present it, then we know what's coming and we're not surprised. Every month we get a, a, a warrant list and we have 50 different vendors. You say to us, oh, well, uh, you've been a follower. Well, how about when you all sent the email? It was approved for the million dollars of five star. That was approved. One million dollars. I said, hey, Mayor, do, are you sure we have the money? You said, yeah, we have the money. So if we have the money, to me, it would make sense to write the check out for the million dollars and pay the heard Y'all heard her ask in the meeting we talked about yesterday, do we have the money? And Tiffany Henyard hemmed and hawed and finally said, yes, we have the funds. This was just a month ago. But if we're not paying the people that's already meant to be paid, and every month you're coming and you're shoving these bills in front of our face and saying, pay it, pay it, pay it. How do we know where we stand financially? We don't. 
And that's our concern. You sit here and say, well, why? Because we cannot afford it. If we're in a $2.6 million deficit, a deficit sounds like we can't afford it. So we should prioritize. And that's all we're stating. You get up here, you make it personal, this and that. We're here to do a job. My job is to oversee the finances, and that's what I'm here to do. So you can stay all day long, follow leader, leader. You be a good leader and bring the RPs in front of us. That way we all know, the community know who. Now, we heard Trustee Brittany Norwood mention. Let me get away from this window while they're doing construction across the street. Um, you heard Trustee Brittany Norwood mention the $2.6 million deficit. Now, I, along with you, have not watched the rest of this meeting yet. I only watched up to the point where um, tr where Brittany Norwood started to speak because I knew that she was going to summarize what had already been said. I, I kind of knew what she was going to say because um, she does say the same thing all the time, and which doesn't make sense to me why they don't get it because she said it over and over again. She said it. She said it. She's told you exactly what needs to be done and you still act like you don't understand um but i hadn't watched up to this point yet i am interested to see from this point because my focus now is on that deficit i'm interested to see at this point if uh the person who sits in the seat of the mayor or the person who sits in the seat of the administrator or the person who sits in the seat of the finance director are going to say anything about this deficit that Brittany norwood just mentioned Doing the work, it's 10 different vendors on here doing grass. Who is our main grass? Vendor? That's what I was what wondering. What grass is getting cut? How much grass is there? The That's what I was wondering. You got one family who is asking for ten thousand dollars for lawn care. I mean, how many people are cutting grass? But they got the kids out there doing it for free based on what Sam Brown said last week. They paying them pennies for the summer. So who's charging ten thousand dollars? The things that you should present to us. You say, call me. Why are we calling you? As a good leader, you should present the information to us, and we won't have to call you. We'll know, and we'll all be aware. But that's my stance on it. If you present it to us ahead of time, we'll know. You sit here, and you say, oh, they don't want to pay this, they don't want to pay that. Explain to us exactly what we're paying. Pay five star that million dollars, and let's go from there. Then we know how much money we have so we can continue paying vendors. If we break it up, how are we going to know? If he signed the checks and break exactly. it up, how are we going to know where the money goes out? How so what, 250000 is going to go out now? 250000 is going to go out in September, October? Two hundred. How are we doing this? Why not just pay? And why? If you have the money, why not pay the people? Unless you're trying to hold on to money, robbing Peter to pay Paul just to have a little money to be able to see so you feel a little bit more secure knowing you actually owe that money out, go ahead and pay them people. So that we know what we're proving. That's my concern. Us having the money and being financially responsible. That's it. All I'm saying is do RFP so we know. And then we're going to have this fight. Like you say, we've been doing this for two years. For two years, you've never presented us an RFP. We've had one RFP. So for once, we knew exactly what was happening. And that was it. So, again, if you could present the things to us so that we can make do our job and make a good financial uh, decision regarding the finances, then we won't sit up here and vendor every time it's time for finances. But it's the surprise for me, the element of surprise. So, thank you. That's, that's my stance on it. You do our piece. We won't sit here and argue. We'll know who's going to work. Now, this is September 2023. Y'all have heard Brittany Norwood say this since, right? Even March 2024, you've heard, we've we learned what RFPs were from her. It has been her conversation. So why are they acting like here in 2024, they don't understand where all of this is coming from? And there was a $2.6 million deficit in, in September of 2023. That's what was just testified as of, as of Jason House and Brittany Norwood. And uh, Tanjanique admitted to 1.6. And the mayor inadvertently admitted to all of it. And it won't be a surprise. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor, may I? Uh, okay, okay, go ahead. I just, I just, I just, I just I'm, I'm so confused right now. I just, I, uh, I am, I am, I, I don't know if I'm shocked. Or... <laughs> Trustee Norwood. In October, you got a warrant list for three hundred eighty-nine thousand dollars and four hundred dollars for uh, three hundred eighty-nine thousand uh, four hundred dollars for uh, five star. 
and then in November, y'all got another uh, warrant list for 319600 And then in December, y'all got another warrant list for 741000 And then in January, you got one for 745000 March, y'all got one for nine twenty two. April, y'all got one. I, I'm just so confused. How in the world did you not know that these individual bills or these individual payments were going to... I know that you know they were going to add up to one big check, but why in the world would we issue out one big check when all of these bills you guys passed up every single month? Why would we not issue them out the way that they were presented to us every single... Why wouldn't you issue out one big check? It was approved as one amount. It wasn't approved as several different small amounts. It was See, that's what we go when we talk about the amount of spending and how it's being hidden. How the amounts are being hidden. Month, and you can't say they weren't presented to you because you got them every single month. You got them in October, November, December, January, March, April, June. You got them that way. You got them. They were presented to you that way. And there's no rule, no law, unless you could tell me one. Mike Delgado, is there a law that states that they have to pay, that the bills have to be paid in one lump sum check when it's approved on a warrant? No. Okay. okay. So if you got it, you know for a fact that that's how it was issued to you. Why would we not present the check to you the same way that it was issued? You guys chose not to pay the bills. We're giving it back to you the same way you guys, the same way that we presented it to you before. Okay, so I'll let you speak, Mr. Freeman. Thank you. You, you said that I'm like, I usually I don't get. I, I, don't I, get I, I'm so I don't happy get that you did. I never get a chance to talk to you. I usually talk to Jason I, House over there. And I appreciate your time, Thank right? You. Okay. So, and just say yes or no, because I don't even want to go back and forth. I've already expressed how I felt about. I know how you feel. I've already expressed my, expressed my vote, right? Yes, so I know how you feel. Now, yes. The question is, and it's just a yes or no. Did you or did you not send an email saying that we don't have that we cannot afford to pay the one million dollars in one check? And you explained to us that we had to have you wanted to have the checks broken down. I that, said that that would be the responsible thing. Okay, because you said. But, but now I'm gonna go back and let you hear that again. She said, "Did you or did you not send us an email saying we could not afford to make the one million dollar payment in one payment, and for the sake of the both of them?" It would be more responsible for us to break the payments down. That means they don't have the money. In a thirty-three million dollar budget, they can't pay a million dollar bill. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna let let her ask that question. Yes, it's just a yes or no. Did you or did you not send an email saying that we don't have that we cannot afford to pay the one million dollars in one check? And you explained to us that we had to have. You wanted to have the checks broken down. I that, said that that would be the responsible thing. Okay, because you said, but but I did not say that we can afford. I did not use the word afford. Okay, but the email said. But you said you wanted me to say yes or no, so I'm going to say no. Okay, but your terminology was a financial bind, correct? I'm going to use the word no. Okay, so yes or no? Did you? Did you, you told me to say yes or no? Okay, okay, all right, all right, enough. So so hold on, hold on, one minute, Trustee Brown. So I just want to say this to uh, Trustee Nora, because she said she made her statement. Um, you guys are taking things off the warrant list that's under the threshold of the $5,000. So let me school you again, because you say that um, you want to listen to me. I'm just educating you. All I can do is give you the facts. You're you welcome. I'm about to give you a lesson. You're about to get this lesson. So smart. Yep. Yeah, I know. I'm not super smart. Cool, I'm on out, you know. But anyway, so. Um, she can't even say it. She said, Kuma Mo Lottie. Now, this woman has told everybody that she has a sum. I can't even say it now. Summa Cum Laude. She's saying, she's told everybody, I'll take you to the website right now and show you, but I won't. She has told everybody that she graduated from Robert Morris University, Summa Cum Laude, which is the highest honor. But she didn't just say that. She said something completely different. You can't say it out loud, but you earned it. That's why I don't believe this woman actually finished college. She don't talk like she's written a paper. Not even a paper. Trustee Belcher's working on her dissertation. I finished my thesis. She don't even talk like she finished an essay. And she can't say the honor that she earned. 
let me school you to gang because you say that um, you want to listen to me. I'm just educating you. All I got to do is give you the facts. You're welcome. I'm about to get so this smart. lesson. You're about to get this lesson. So smart. Yep. Y'all know I'm not super smart. Come on, you know. But anyway, so um, basically, I just want you to know that when we give you the bills list, half of the time, most of them that Jason House is pulling off is under the 5000 So you just said it out of your mouth that, hey, if it's over $5,000, it should go to the board. That's not even true. Over $5,000 to go to $20,000 to go to the village administrator. That's $20,000. And then just clarity for RP. She keeps my RPs. Anybody over, is it $20,000, $25,000, you put it out for RP. Half of the vendors that we use is under the threshold. Even with the Ripson Little Program, how are you guys stopping things like that? That's grant money. And the threshold for the rip was five thousand, and for windows was two thousand. So what I'm saying to you is that you're putting your feet in your mouth because you keep saying the opposite of what you're saying. You have to vote on things that's for you only. You get, get what I'm saying? If it's five thousand dollars, that means America sign off on it, right? If it's twenty thousand dollars, the village administrator is supposed to sign on. We're talking about laws and rules, right? That's how I go. And if it's for a RP, it's over twenty five thousand. So what are we doing wrong? It's all on the warrant list. And you keep saying RP. Now put your phone down, don't get no help now. Just just, just what I'm saying. All I'm saying to you is that because I'm texting nobody. I'm not texting nobody. I just want you to know. I am. I'm doing my job. I need you to do your job. That's why I'm telling you, trustee. Because at the end of the day, you keep following and you won't get the facts. If somebody give you the information, you still won't listen. You heard the lawyer just tell you, we don't have to talk to you guys about breaking the money up. The money can get broken up. If it's a vendor, like he just pulled out somebody else. Uh, and there is no law that states the board has to sign those checks. There is no law that states the board has to sign those checks. What they are doing is not illegal. Things aren't just illegal because you say they are. I saw he had one check. Y'all still pulled it out. One check. Why y'all pull it out? That's my point. Because you guys are picking and choosing who you want to pay. One check. Trusty House just read it's a record that you pulling out. Why? Y'all read another vendor. The one that went $500 or something. Why? Why? This, this is my point to you. Like, it's mess. It's people nickel and diamond and picking who they want to pay. That's not right. You want the service or you don't want the service. Then you talk about uh, who congrats. Y'all asked that two more meetings ago. You know the answer. And then you talk about doing your job. How committee meetings? Why you ain't no committee meetings to talk about nothing? But yet you get here and say, let's do this, let's do that. I'm saying, I'm saying that you, you won't commit, but in budget, I, please pass the budget, y'all. All I do is tell y'all to pass the budget. Pass the budget. Do y'all jobs. Once again, do y'all jobs. But these are the things that I can point out to you. We can go back and forth all day long. But at the end of the day, none of y'all are doing your jobs. But when y'all get here, we put on the show, and then at the end of the day, nothing gets resolved. Nothing. All I'm asking you guys to do what's right. If you say my threshold is five thousand dollars, have you heard uh uh Tanjanique Audrinique Miller? And the reason I call her Tanjanique Audrinique is because I did find another woman in Chicago who has a uh, verifiable verifiably the same background that Tanjanique claims to have. And the other woman who I found in Chicago who has a similar background, verifiably, her name actually is Audrinique Miller. So I think Tanjanique is using one of her close family members' um, resumes. Um, but you haven't heard her or Tiffany defute or refute the claim of $2.6 million in deficit. Brittany Norwood just said it. She didn't say that's not true. There is no deficit. Here she is. She's finally admitting there is a deficit. I mean, it was just two meetings ago when there was no deficit. There was no deficit in August. And then in, in, in July, there was no deficit. And then all of a sudden in, in um, August, you know, we got some, some, some overdue bills. Because, you know, she started hinting to it, what we talked about yesterday. And here we are. Now, it, it is a full-fledged deficit. She's not denying it. But it's all the trustees' fault. Put all the bills back in that's under $5,000. If his threshold is $20,000, put all the bills back in that's under that threshold. Then, then what's the problem? That's within the laws, under the laws, right? Because it shouldn't matter how they're spending the money, should it? 
long as it's under twenty thousand. Yeah, go buy yourself an eighteen thousand dollar vehicle that you get to ride around all on your own. That does no work for the village of Dalton or the township of uh, Thornton, because they're pulling from both places. Don't forget that. Following the laws, we put it on the warrant list, right? And the laws is make sure y'all vote for it. Y'all voted on paying all them bills and didn't pay nobody. They signed the checks. But that's the law, right? We did every step that you guys asked of us. But yet, we still get up here and y'all take things out. Why? Because the steps is that the board approved it. Y'all approved it. Even though it was approved through the budget, but y'all approved it on the warrant list. Okay. And then y'all still don't sign a check to pay the vendor. Then so that's why she thinks it's okay to have Stacy Carell um, put a $65,000 order in for Christmas lights, even though they're for her. And to have um, Stacy Carell put in an order for eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of concrete at the skating rink, and um, sixty five thousand dollars worth of epoxy coating for the skating rink, and twenty thousand dollars worth of signs, and who knows what her boyfriend is ordering through the youth budget. But that's why she has justified these things to them. She literally has told them something that's not legally or corporately or ethically true. I'm telling you, if you've ever worked for a company, had an expense account or an allowance or even the ability to get reimbursed for items, those items were reviewed. Your tuition reimbursal was reviewed. Your health care reimbursals were reviewed. Your, your expenditures while you were on a trip were reviewed. Just because you have an allowance does not mean in order for those that per diem to get added to your paycheck or for you to be reimbursed for those things or that expense account to be paid in order to have that Internet reimbursed. You got to submit the invoice that is reviewed. What makes her think a person can have a twenty thousand dollar budget and nobody cares what they spend as long as it's under twenty thousand? Because she has it now. She's not talking about the deficit anymore. She's not talking about the fact that vendors have been approved and checks have been signed and people still haven't been paid. Now she's going to go to a whole different conversation and talk about uh, the $5,000 uh, Stanley Cup. What's the point of getting a vote? If y'all not going to pay the vendor, y'all going to do what you want to do. Trust me, how it's going to not sign checks. After you guys voted to pay people, he chooses not to sign the check. Now what? So now people sitting in the audience and they say, oh, God, I'm going to get paid today. And then later on, they come here to the village to finance department to get their check. Jason and the clerk pull out the checks and don't pay the vendor that y'all voted for. So now what do we tell those vendors? And then how do we keep services going for the residents? Everything stops, right? Because I guess that's what y'all want. Next y'all come there, right? You got to just stop everything. There's too much progress going on. Because other than that, why are you stopping? There's no reason. All right, Clark Key, call the road. Um, I asked to be recognized a long time ago, ma'am. You got something? Go ahead. Okay, so just a couple of things. Uh, is there more than one vendor that we're speaking of about these checks? What do you mean? You keep saying that they approved all of the bills last time, and the clerk and trustee house didn't sign the check for the vendors. Is there more than one vendor that they did not sign checks for? Um, I think that's a rhetorical question. It's not a rhetorical question. Sure you talk to them. What's a rhetorical question? I, I, just told I, I you, asked you okay, a question. Can you answer? My answer. So let me answer. Don't interrupt. Let you get my answer. So trustee house and the clerk didn't sign several checks. They have all the checks right there before you that you can look at and see that they did not sign certain people because they picking and choosing who they want to pay. It's not up to them. When the board votes to pay all vendors, pay all vendors, but they won't sign certain checks. Okay. My next question is, um, you made statements, several statements in reference to saying that we affected people's livelihood and we're not paying them. They've done the work. Um, I could say the same thing about you not giving people business license. You are affecting their livelihoods. Trust me. No, no, no. no you let, don't let, let, about. let me speak because you don't know nothing about Let that. me speak because I have okay. the right to speak because we're in discussion. You but said, it, wait, hold on, hold on. We're in like discussion. You got to do with corporate bills. No, you made a so, statement. So, so get it right. So okay, about with corporate you, bills. Ma you made a statement about people's livelihoods. Trust me. So I'm responding trust back to about it. corporate bills. Okay, and this has something to do with the financial it status has of our village because we are missing revenue. Oh, okay. Things that's uh, business is being now. closed. Yes, absolutely. Go ahead. From business Your friends closed. Okay, go ahead. My, My friends still open. Go ahead. Nah. 
Go but ahead. anyway, um, with businesses being closed, since you want to go, I don't know, you woke up this morning or something with anger on you. You sit here and talk about hate, but at the end of the day, nobody comes here to argue. I literally had that conversation with an ex. Like, you wake up on bullshit. Do you, are you happy ever? There are people who literally go out and, like somebody said, want to want to let the world burn. And all of them motherfuckers going to be having lunch with Kevin Samuel soon. Nobody at all. There are bills that we have the right to take off. We have the right to make decisions about. You say that you're running it at the end of the day, because this is going to be the narrative when we go broke. You're going to say, I wasn't even on the bank account. The trustees did it. When at the end of the day, you're making decisions and spending money and then get mad when we don't approve it because it's not financially sound. I sat here and looked at a lease that child's paying $149,000 for one of them trucks. You make absolute, that's like when you're 19 years old and you go get a car and the interest rate 27%. That makes absolutely no sense. You're Please not making facts. great finance. Excuse me? Please stay facts. Oh, I got the facts, baby. You know I got it. Please stay facts. I can hop over there and show you. Well, go ahead. Hop over here. Don't, <laughs> don't hop do that. I value you not to. Last time you say I what you want. You Please don't. Swore. Tiffany got scared. She decided to talk a little shit because she got scared. Hop over here. This ain't what you want, bitch, please. I believe in a... Man, I've been trying to keep that to myself. I'm not going to say it. You swore I was trying to do something to you. But let me tell you, here it is. Dated December 27th, 2022. The cash price of a 2023 Chevy Tahoe, $93,216.71. Interest and APR fifty five thousand nine hundred twenty nine dollars and forty nine cents. Total lease price one hundred forty nine thousand one hundred forty six dollars and twenty cents. Tell me if it's not facts, because your signature is all on it. I don't see that. Okay, but you want to put you want to I don't. All right. I'll, I'll but at the, end, at the end of the day, it's not about going back and forth with you. It's about making financial decisions that is in the benefit of everybody and just not one person. And you can't seem to understand that. Have a great day. Okay. Trustee, I wish you will come here with better information and come here with a better plan than to come here to do nothing and to vote no for a progress in the village of Dalton. All you do is talk negative. You don't talk about nothing positive. I don't know one thing. Matter of fact, maybe one thing positive that you voted for here in the village of Dalton. I remember they had that whole issue over there. Um, what was it? Public works or a truck ran into something and the whole town's going to blow up. And you voted no to fix the gas leak. I remember that. So I tell me, it. what do you ever do for the people? Because obviously you don't care about them. You don't vote to help them do anything. You won't vote to cut down a tree. Now, this is a woman who has sitting before you a known rapist. And she's covering for him. And she's talking about who cares about the people she has in this room full of women who he may walk somebody to their car tonight. He may give somebody a ride home. Uh huh. These are the things. These are the these are the ways that she is she is allowing the women of Dalton and maybe even the boys to be exposed. That's the word you were looking for when you say put us out there. You mean exposed. That's the professional word to use, Tiffany. Expose. She's exposing the women of Dalton and maybe even the boys to a predator, a known predator, a man who I found out last night has a reputation since being a teenager of being a rapist. Why his ass hasn't been whooped is beyond me, but he right there with Chicago in Chicago with R. Kelly and y'all let him live too, so I don't know. But she talking about who cares about the community and who cares about the people, but she covering for a rapist right before our eyes in a lime green suit 
cookies, uh, yeah, cutting on vacant lots, uh, make sure they stay, make sure squad is out, make sure the police department and the camera system working in a, uh, oh, I did vote in a for building. So because no, you don't vote for no nothing. Y'all facts. For nothing, nothing. No but anything facts. that's beneficial to trustee voucher, right? And I just want residents to see that because you can point out little Great. things or, or or cry about this, cry about that, but you're not producing anything. None of y'all are. None Absolutely. Y'all. So at the end of the day, it's said that y'all gonna do that to them people because they actually came and worked hard. Okay. Um, they cut down the whole west side. So hopefully one of y'all will add that back into the warrant list because them tree companies are still out there this week cutting out cutting out trees um in Dalton. So can anybody? Revise it, Trustee Brown, Trustee uh, Holmes. Can somebody revise the warrant list and add the tree service back in there so that the people can continue to cut down um, the trees and trim them back? May I be recognized, Mayor? Go ahead. I say we should revise it and put them in there because at the end of the day, we're going to be back in the executive session. We're going to be paying more. This is a rapist speaking. Yes. Taxpayers will be paying more. Uh-huh. I agree. I like to touch bases on that. Oh, y'all need me to say allegedly? I just did. Through a day-to-day experience, I deal with law care service, and I've been utilizing a lot of the young people in the community to help cut lawns from vacant lots next to senior homes that they're scared to come out because the lawns are so high. Um, and if you ride through the community, no way you cannot see these homes, these houses that's vacant with grass coming up. If this man says mices, I swear to God, I'm jumping through my iPad. If this man says mices, he better not. <clears throat> Anywhere five and six feet tall. Come on, trustees. I'll be riding through the community. Seriously, I'll be right through the community. You guys don't see these uh, vacant homes? Can I be recognized? I say, I, I say, let, let me just oversee out at you. Uh, 148, 47, uh, Dorchester, <clears throat> vacant home grass coming up very high. Uh, 14700 on uh, Lincoln. I just uh, had to make a stop over there with a senior. Uh, we actually cut a grass through the lawn program, but her biggest concern was about the lots on both sides of our house. So her easy pitch was to say we didn't cut her grass, but it was really concerned about the houses next door to her. We got a lot of high grass going on out here. <clears throat> and we've been selfish by not paying them. I was just going through this one list. What lawn services do you guys want to have to cut this grass? Because we need it. We actually need it. Well, I'm sticking with that grass right now <clears throat> because that's real tough right now. And I know I made a couple of visits on the west side down the street from Trustee Brittany. I showed you a couple of houses over there down the street from you that need that grass cut, right? Yeah, we went. That's why the last thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. That grass that is still high. You know, I actually was spending money out of my own pocket <clears throat> trying to get them lawns cut. Um, and it's not a program to put those um, vacant homes on. So I'm just asking, what lawn service are we going to use because it's definitely needed because public works cannot cut all this grass out here. They need to be out doing public work work, not being lawn care service. So I'm just asking, from, from my knowledge, for me to even talk with the residents because they're asking about, do we have any lawn care services out of the village of Dalton to cut lawn? Okay. So, and I'm looking on here. We got, yeah, and we need them. So we need them because we have a lot of high grass going. And and I just like to kind of touch too with that. Uh, I've been out here 33 years, and if you go from Sibley down to 142nd in Greenwood, that was a blighted area. Nothing but grass, weeds, raccoons, possums, all down that strip. Y'all, I'm sorry I'm making y'all listen to this. I know this is some bullshit. <laughs> All down that strip. It has been revitalized. Let's spend the money and give back to the community. I'm looking at, we want to take out some of these construction companies. They fixing sidewalks. Yep. They fixing alleys. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
We got seniors uh, with roofs and windows need to be repaired. That's what this money is being spent on. It's going back into the community. It's not going into no individual pocket. It's going back into the community. And if you ride through the village, you can actually see it. It's there to be seen. So I'm asking. You know, I like it. Y'all didn't hear recently in an interview with Roland Martin, Tiffany Henry said something, something, something in the community. <laughs> It reminded me of Black Dynamite when he was like, but Black Dynamite, I sell drugs in the community. That nigga said, it's going back in the community. Nigga, if you practice that, just say so. I'm looking at, we want to take out some of these construction companies. They fixing sidewalks. Yep. They fixing alleys. Yep. We got seniors uh, with roofs and windows need to be repaired. That's what this money is being spent on. It's going back into the community. It's not going into no individual pocket. It's going back into the community. He said it's not going into no individual's pockets. No, mama, don't look this way. Don't look behind my hand. I don't have no cookie in my hand. No, not me. It's not going into any individual's pockets, Fed. It's going back into the community. Six lawn care companies at ten thousand dollars a pop for the fuck what? And if you ride through the village, you can actually see it. You can see it. It's there to be seen. It's there to be seen. So huh? because even today they say Dalton looks like shit. I'm asking because I like to know: Do we need to change the, the lawn company? You guys have some lawn companies. Would you like a response? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, my original statement. Because I think it's being mischaracterized. We got past due vendors. Let's take care of them first. We got public works who is old money. I wish there would be that same passion with getting them paid. Okay. And then once that's taken care of, let's come back and see how much money's left. And then we address this. We are stacking more bills on top of what we already don't have. So please, let's pay public works their retro. Let's pay the past the other vendors with one check, and then let's revisit next month. I'm not saying no. I'm saying let's handle one step at a time. We're going further and further behind, and we keep coming in, and we say, look, this has to be done. I agree. It's nice to have that done, but we're blowing off, we're blowing off things that need to also be addressed that have already been voted on. So let's take one step first. Pay the pay, people that haven't got their check first. Pay the public works their retro that they are. Oh, we have. We don't even got a plan for when public works gonna get paid. Have you heard one? Huh. Well, right now you are mixing apples with oranges. I was talking about getting oh, grass cut. Wait a minute. So who's mixing apples with oranges? I know you don't want to talk about it. No, it's not that I don't want to talk about it because I work hand in hand with public works. Okay. So Can definitely, I support public works. I, I support anyone that need that retro paid. But this is not something that just happened. Yep. You guys have been not paying bills for over two years. Mm -hmm. It's been a fight for over two years. I'm a 33-year resident out here. I'm a stakeholder. So I, I'm looking and I'm watching. This is the second term as a trustee and working very diligent in doing things in this community. But but you guys have been voting no, no, no for the past two years. It's not going to get done in a month, two months. Now you holler retro. I didn't hear retro a year ago. Mm -hmm. Public work has been Behind contract two, three years now. Four? Yep. Four so years. I'm in support, I'm in support of public work. I'm in support of the police department and the fire department. I'm with that. So don't let's don't twist around like I'm against it. I'm not against it. But I was just talking about some things right now that we can put right back in the community and I applaud public Because each and every one of now why would you rather create more tree cutting programs and window and roof programs and snow removal programs then pay the employees who do the work that means somebody is skimming somebody is 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 taken out yes there are individual people taking home money they're not supposed to take home especially when we got vendors calling because they have not been paid for work that the board has approved and has signed checks for. Yes, somebody is taking money home. We see that now in March of 2024.
But why Stan Brown, who's about the people, who works hand in hand with Public Works and Stacey Carell and probably knows what his dreadlocks smell like? Why would you be more eager for the mayor to be able to have more programs than for the people who do the work to get paid more? See, what they're talking about is an increase in pay. It's time for Public Works to renegotiate their salaries and get more money. At this point, you're talking about a 3.5% cost of living raise over the last four years. They're owed about a 15% raise just to bring them up to market. And see, the reason why Tiffany Henyard don't want to do that is because she's actually going to have to pay it. Payroll has to get paid. She can't hide that money in a program. You understand? Works by hanging in there with us, and I ask that you keep on hanging in there with us. Because we're working towards making it, making it better. Because I'm out there, I see public works, they still working hard. They still working hard, doing a yeoman's job. But I'm not counting them out, not by a bit. But I'm talking about something right now that we can't do. I ask, did you have any lawn care people that you know that you want to put on there and pay them? Since you don't want to pay one that's on there now? And I commend them in the business for steady working and not getting paid. And I do say this here, yes, I was one that voted to pay the bill. I voted to pay the bill. I didn't vote for individuals to say who they want to pay. I voted to pay the bills. And right now, this is way beyond me because uh, I didn't, <clears throat> I'm learning something now because I didn't know the, a trustee and the clerk handle the money like that. Mm -hmm. I thought that was up to the mayor <clears throat> and the- um, This is the chair of the finance committee who's now learning the order. He didn't- Finance director. Mm -hmm along with the village administrator. Mm -hmm. So I'm learning something now that I never experienced. So that's my take on it. Because yeah, we got a lot of anger going on and personalness going on, but let's take the face. As a trustee, he didn't even know about the checks and balances that were put in place to restrict the mayor's hand when it came to the bank account. He assumed because he is all in for Tiffany Henyard. He does not plan on providing any checks and balances as a finance chair head, as a finance committee chair. He has no, he assumed that she had all the power once the board approved the bills, that she had all the power. He assumed that. He's never even checked because he's okay with that. He don't give a fuck. He, if, if, what would have been the, the difference if he had known that trustee house and the clerk, uh, clerk key, had the final say to when the checks were um, were signed. What would be different? He probably would fight harder against them. He wasn't aware of that. He thought that once the board approved it, it was all in the mayor's hand, and her and Tangini could go to Sephora. And with Brandon, Brandon, I'm gonna need you to start dressing the mayor a little bit better, honey. Like. If you were the one that dressed her for her uh, on the run, on the move, <laughs> I said it right the first time, for her on the move podcast picture, honey, a white suit, some white shoes, and a gold belt is not what you need a stylist for. I'm just going to tell you. I know you think she think you're doing something for her because she said you got her dipped, but you need to get her dripped. Okay? Can you please elevate her fashion if she's spending money for a stylist elevate her fashion she give us something to remember her by and please stop putting her in bell bottoms and flare leg pants she don't have no body to support it it just makes her look like a stick um give her a little bit more of a tapered leg okay please and she don't need to be wearing white shoes the fuck what is wrong with you why wouldn't you put her in a gold shoe that day I really didn't want to say nothing, but I'm going to go ahead and say it now because I found out last night you can pay $7,000. You're on staff as her full-time stylist. You can do better. Ashley Stewart is not what anybody who sits in the seat of a mayor should be wearing. I don't know what she's... Maybe you skimming off the top, too. 
she's giving you a certain amount of money and you're going and finding the cheapest thing. And I know her style isn't that elevated personally, so her expectations aren't that high. But there are those of us who dress ourselves better than you're dressing her. Say la. Off the situation. Let's deal with them. Yeah, and then y'all should put one second. I'm gonna go to you, Trusty Brown. Um, K5, y'all should add them back in. I'm asking you guys to add them because that is the alley, the alley resurface program that we have been doing. Program, and people program, alley's been getting program. done, even people that don't like me. Um, Valerie Stubbs alley's just got paid, so I just want to point that out to y'all that hey, if it's the worst alley, we do it. We don't discriminate or pick and choose who gets done. That's why the engine. How unprofessional and too much like a black preacher is it for her to personally call out somebody who she just tried to kill a month earlier? Here's does it, and also um, Stacy from Public Works. So I'm asking that y'all put that back in because if Trusty House really telling our truth about finances, which obviously he know nothing about, he would tell you that it's different funds for everything that comes out of our bank accounts, and this is his own separate fund. This. But she sure hasn't refuted that statement he made about a deficit, has he? Oh, no, she called it a bill. And Tangenique called it an, an, an overdue expenditure, a backlog. Come from for $238,000. So I'm asking the board to uh, add it back in so that people can get their alleys done. And y'all just heard Ron, the engineer, say state that they're starting up. So what are y'all going to do? Not pay them? And if they watch this, why would they come and do the work? They just said they just started two day doing streets, alleys, and sidewalks. So if y'all keep holding their money, these are companies that went out for bid, Brittany. They went now all of these companies have now gone on strike. As of right now, in this moment, all of these companies are in a construction strike. But that money was approved in the budget. So what why is there still a deficit? RP. Brittany, so I just want to point out that it do happen. Everybody got their facts wrong. When I get up here and speak, they be out of out of order with what they saying. They don't have no no facts. So all I'm asking is that you add K five. I wish I would add all the other vendors, but that comes from a separate account. And I wish people would tell y'all the things for y'all just get up get up here and start line item stuff out that you know don't even know where it come from. So go ahead, Trusty Brown. Okay. First of all. Yes, I did uh, uh, vouch for my friends who paid nine thousand dollars. The check was cut, and it still hasn't been distributed, and that was in July. Okay. So yes, Wood is my friend. I have a couple of other friends. See, uh, that's what's about paying the friends. Try to tell y'all. Check is cut. See. Thanks for I will not have making. And the microphone has been turned off for the record. Yeah. Work in this building. My friends have jobs already. So let's let's get that fact straight. I don't have a friend in my field. I've met poor when I moved down here. So again, check cut, not being paid. We have vendors that checks have been cut and no, have not been paid. Here's an email for a lease agreement. State Bank. This past due bill says uh, May of 2023. $76,000. So why do we continue to make bills when we ain't paying? We got vendors that have not been paid. Extra. Sorry about that, y'all. I, I said it down and it, it changed the face. Sorry. Um, and, and have we gotten confirmation that that bill, that $76,000 check that Janice Johnson um, cut for the village of Dalton, even though she's an HR director and not a finance director. Um, have we gotten confirmation that that bill cleared? Yes, have been, yes, have been emailing us. Your checks have been cut. Why haven't I got my check? Maybe be signing. Our are coming here to pick up your checks and being told that they cannot receive your checks. So what is going on? Yes, I wanted to pay the bills. So guess what? Pay the bills. Why are we holding vendors' checks? Mm -hmm. Vendors' checks are still here. We have 30 plus checks that I know of are still sitting on a desk. 30 plus sitting on a desk. 30. So if you're going to pay the bills, pay the bills. But stop making bills. Now they keep talking about these same eight checks for five star. You know, she lucky they even willing to pay that because they don't know yet that most of that is for the ice skating rink. 
Okay. She snuck that on in through public works. I'm sure the feds figured that out by now. But she keep talking about these eight eight um payment arrangement checks from Five Star. She ain't said nothing about these other uh 30 checks that haven't been sent out. Additional bills every month. If I'm a vendor and you pay me in five months, why would I come back here and do additional work for you? And at this same time, all of these vendors are calling the 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 village who they're being directed to Janice Johnson for some reason, who's directing them to the department head. And then the conversation falls flat. The department head is dodging the vendor. Is the department head taking some money home? Because the invoice is in the department head's name. If you're not paying. <laughs> you can't pay your workers. So you want to talk about messing with people's livelihood. You're doing that. Why would a person come back here and continue to do work and I haven't been paid? That's foolishness. That's crazy. Stop adding on additional bills. A couple of months ago, we had a $5 million dollar Warrant list. The month after that, a two million and some dollar warrant list. A warrant list. Here's a three million and some dollar warrant list. Pay the bills. Pay the bills. And stop having these people continue to do work and not being compensated. If the checks are signed, distribute. Do not hold checks here and don't give them to anybody. So as far as my friends working here, I wouldn't dare have my friends working. Okay. Because they well, um, we are gonna stop that. Pay the bills. So I hope you guys do pay the bills. Tell your friend, trusty house, to sign the checks, and maybe vendors will get paid. But back to this K five for that. He's not signing eight checks for one million dollars. Okay. What about the other checks? What about the other vendors? Still no answer to that. Now, at least I need you guys to make sure you add that in here because they already did the alley. Um, we right now is about to start on the street resurfacing and I would like people's streets to get paid and people alleys to get paid. So please, please, please um, add that into your amended um, motion. Uh, trustee, anybody want to amend the motion? Don't we have to vote on this before we can amend it again? Well, we can amend it. I, I would prefer to vote. Would y'all, anybody, any other trustee want to amend the motion to add the K-5 Audi's in there? Yeah, I would like to make that most to add K-5 back in there. Second. All right. It's been amended. Y'all caught them dog whistles? Does anybody want to amend the motion <clears throat> to add K-5 back in there? Of course, Dan Brown said, yeah. I'm sure she got some secrets on him. We'll figure that out very soon. And then, of course, Andrew Holmes seconded it because he's a rapist. Allegedly. Uh, please call around. Can I ask the attorney though, Was that proper? Because I'm confused on what we're voting on now. Yeah. You took people out. He added the person back in. And now we're going to vote with K5 included. There was a motion in the second. So how was it amended when we were in discussion? Um, we're done with discussion. But there was a motion in the second. Okay. And it's amended. Delgado. So the clear way to do it would be just to vote on the original motion and then present a second motion. But the amended motion, even if you accept it, it still would require a majority to amend it. But there was you see how that's her attorney, right? The motion in a second. We were in discussion. It was so long that we forgot that we was in discussion, but it was discussion. So how are we making an amendment in discussion? wants to, you certainly can entertain the amendment, and if there's four votes in favor of the amendment, then they would present a new motion, which then would require another roll call. Correct. Well, excuse me, we just making up stuff as we go along. So, okay, y'all want to vote on y'all motion, and then y'all want to um, vote on K5 Valley's next? You can do that. You, you, can, you, can, you, can, you can do that. I'm only asking because I wanted y'all to wait to see how I'm compromising. You, yeah, you okay. can do that. Right, go ahead. Follow me how much. I mean, she don't want to follow the rules. Those are the rules. Clear for the record. This is the motion in second that was just up for debate right. and discussion mm -hmm. with the vendors removed as listed by trustee. Correct. Correct. And then 
after, if assuming that passes, then Trustee Brown can make his motion to authorize the payment of K-5 or any other. That's correct. All right, call her. Trustee Norwood. Aye. Trustee Stan Brown. No. Trustee Tammy Brown. Aye. Trustee House. Aye. Trustee Holmes. No. Trustee Belcher. Aye. Motion passed. All right, is there a, another motion to pay the vendors that were removed from the warrant list? They did the work. Services, rather. Right? Is there a motion? There's a motion. I would like to motion of vote on those vendors that had not got paid. All right, is there a second? Second. All right, is there a motion and second? Cobbler? No. Wait a minute. Dang, she ain't even said it yet. Uh, y'all remember that? She said no, y'all didn't tell me. making us one hour, we need five hours. Exactly. But I'm arguing. Okay. Trustee Norwood. No. Trustee Stan Brown. Yes. Trustee Tammy Brown. No. Trustee House. No. Trustee Holmes. Yes. Trustee Belcher. No. Motion failed. All right. And for the record, guys, this is why trustees do not get on bank accounts. Illegally... So, Trustee Keys, I hope you got a good outfit. Well, well, Clark Keys, I hope you got a good outfit. All right, moving on. Hey, Ed, you you understand what she's saying, right? She tell them that they gonna get arrested, and they gonna need to take a mug shot, and they gonna be in court because they're on the bank account where there's actually an ordinance that supports them removing the mayor from the bank account and adding a trustee along with the clerk. <clears throat> Excuse me, they presented the ordinance to the bank. They presented the ordinance to the judge. Uh, 25 and oh, that's a lie because they won this court case. As a matter of fact, it's still in court. Report, I make the motion that we adjourn this meeting. Bye. I'm doing my marriage report. If y'all gonna walk out of the meeting, y'all gonna walk out of the meeting, period. So I'm doing my marriage report. So, um, there's a motion, motion, there's a motion and a second uh, on the floor. Right Attorney now. Delgado, goodbye. If there's right a right motion now. and a second on the floor, no, these are the rules. She made a motion to a, she made a motion to adjourn the meeting. That is a legal motion. Someone seconded it. You can't just ignore it, <laughs> okay? Delgado. So, marriage report. Here we go, guys. It's a couple things that's been going on. There's a motion and a trustee. You're out board. of line. You're out of line. Clark, can you call the roll? There's a motion and a second. Like, You're out of line, trustee. So, so mayor's report. Know, Here we go. Right. Um, and the clerk called we have the a couple roll. things going on. And the clerk called the roll. Now, when people lose this much respect for you and you sit in the seat of a mayor, it's time to step down. It's time to bow out gracefully. This was September. She should have resigned after this meeting. When you get to the point where people are walking out of your meetings and adjourning to end the meeting right before your report, it's time for you to give up the fight and go find another municipality to abuse. But I'm going to let this vote play out because I'm enjoying this. Right now in the village of Dalton, I just want to point it out to you. There's a motion and a second. You out of order. I'm not. You out of order. You out of order. You had your mayor's report. Did y'all say y'all report? You were sitting here. I got my mayor's report. We were sitting here listening to you. Okay, you okay. okay. You only do one meeting. You do nothing else. So okay. it's okay. There's a motion and right, a second. So moving so, on. You out of order, trustee. Clark, can you please call you're the roll? You're not the mayor. You're out of order. Clerk, can you please call the roll? And if the attorney is going to sit here and let her continue on, okay, trustee, you can leave. Trustee, you can leave. There's a motion and a second on the board. Trustee, you can leave. You want to know. You all right, got so all the rules. Um, There's a, a motion and a second. going on here in the village of Dalton. I just want to make y'all aware of what's going on. Um, one thing that I'm proud to announce is that now our swimming pool here in the village of Dalton will be repaired. So residents, you can come out and swim for That's free. I, what I love about that is you all can right. come and do that on the village. Before that, we didn't have anything going on like that. And that's what y'all remember. Remember how they act right here? Y'all remember that when election time come up. But I'm going to give y'all my mayor's report. So I can tell y'all the positive things that goes on in our village. This is a, a joke, I swear. I um, Matt, I'm looking for okay, someone to run to the Jeff meeting. Ice. Let me go back and say hi. You only do mayor's report. I make a motion that we adjourn this meeting. Bye. I'm doing my mayor's report. If y'all going to walk out of the meeting, y'all going to walk out of the meeting. Period. So I'm doing my mayor's report. Yeah, that's how my daddy would be when it would be time for him to wrap up his sermon. I'm, t I'm preaching this sermon. I'm doing this. 
Y'all, I'm telling you, I didn't seen this kind of abuse before. And then he wonder why his church don't grow. So, um, there's, there's a motion, there's a motion in a second uh, on the floor. Right. Sorry, oh, Delgado. Girl, bye. It's it's there's a motion in a second on the floor. Yeah. Sorry, Delgado. So, marriage report. Here we go, guys. It's a couple things that's been going on. There's a motion and the track in your You're out of line. You're out of line. Clark, can you call the roll? There's a motion in a second. You out of line, trustee. So, marriage report. Here we go. Um, we have a couple things going on right now in the village of Dalton. I just want to point it out to you guys. There's a motion so and a thing, second. You out of order. I'm not. You There's a motion order. and a you second. Out of, you you had order. your marriage report. Did y'all say y'all report? You were sitting here I got my marriage report. She spoke for, I think what we counted out to be between 14 and 18 minutes all by herself during this meeting with no interruption. We were so, sitting here listening okay, to you for okay. hours. You only do one meeting. You do nothing else. So okay. it's okay. There's a motion and right, a second. So moving so, on. You out of order, trustee. Clark, can you trustee, please call the roll? Order. You're not the mayor. You're out of order. Clark, can you please call the roll? And if the, the, right, if the so attorney go. is going to sit here and let her continue on with okay, the Trustee, you can leave. Trustee, you can leave. There's you a motion leave, and a trustee. second on the board. Trustee, you can leave. you want to know. You all right, got so all the rules. Um, There's a motion and a second. going on here in the village of Dalton. I just want to make y'all aware of what's going on. Um, one thing that I'm proud to announce is that now our swimming pool here in the village of Dalton will be repaired. So residents, you can come out and swim for free. I, what I love about that is you all can right. come and do that on the village. Before that, we didn't have anything going on like that. And that's what y'all remember. Remember how they act right here? Y'all remember that when election time come up. But I'm going to give y'all my marriage report. So I can tell y'all the positive things that goes on in our village. This is a, a joke, I swear. Um, next, I'm looking for someone to run the Jess Ice. She said, this is a joke, I swear. As if she has not been there the entire time of her joke-ass tenure as mayor. This is two years in. Two years and about four months since she became mayor. Only two years. She's lost all their respect, and I'm here for it. Drink. So if anybody is interested, please call us at 708-297-6859. Again, grab back. 708-29. The rapist and the I don't know what yet. Sit there with her. 76859. And that is Jeff Ice Rink. Um, next, we're looking for contractors to fix the roofs for the seniors. So, if seniors are asking for their roof and windows to be fixed. Please, please call us at that same number, 708 297 6859. We have a roof and window program, which we got grant money for, for our seniors and veterans who we will start with first. Um, last week went really well. I just want people to know that you all signed up for Home Beautification Awards, and we will be giving them out this week. If you are interested or know somebody that's looking to do so, please go. And the trustees ended that roof and window program because there was no end date to it, just like most programs for black people. There was no exit strategy from it. There was no strategy. Whose windows? How? She had people putting her name in their window to advertise her. And the cost became astronomical. So VODalton.org. Again, that website is VODalton.org. Next, we have our digital meter water project. Um, I know that Keith Freeman announced that. That will be coming up, and that is a $2 million grant that we went and we sought out, and we were having that for our resident. But we do have a balance. I think it's coming to almost, I don't know, numbers by heart. Do you know numbers yet? Okay. So we're working on the numbers, but I just know that we was awarded the $2 million. Um, you don't know the numbers. You the mayor. Start the digital meters for all the people that had issues with a uh, readings that was getting uh, estimated readings. So I just want to point that out to y'all that we still working despite what y'all see here. I'm going to keep working and staying positive so that you guys can get the things that you need and have been neglected without for so many years. Uh, I got the block project. But she's still not willing to give public works the raises they're due. Okay? The people who perform the work that she's touting herself to be the, the head of, she's not paying them their market rate. She's pocketing that money through the programs that she's starting. We have this going on, Light Up the Block Project. It is for residents to put a light in front of their um, 
in front of that line. And that's the little light that you see sometimes and it's lit up. So we have that going on. And then we also have lights that goes on the block. So if you're interested in your block, it's too dark, which we're working on. One thing I love about cutting the trees on the west side of town is that they said that we're doing an awesome job and they see us light up the block. I know they had did several streets already. Thank you, Demarcus. Uh, put light poles up. So those residents are really happy because at night, if you go there right now, you can literally look from 146 all the way to Sibley, vice versa. And we're doing that from Airbrook all the way to LaSalle right now. So I'm praying that the vendors do come out um, tomorrow because the boy did not pay the vendor that's cutting the trees over there on the west side of town. We still had wet work to do. Um, a LaSalle, yeah, see, I, well, you, you see it with your own two eyes and so you can go tell residents what happened. You still got LaSalle to do. They were scheduled to come out, so hopefully they do come out. And then also they was going to resurface our street over there. So hopefully all that still works. If the board don't pay them, I don't understand why they will uh, continue to do it. What else we got? We have tree trimming already. Right. That's that. We did the west side and we also did the south side over there behind fairway that's maryland so make sure you guys go now mind you at this point this is a secret squirrel meeting the meeting has adjourned the quorum has left this is officially at this moment an illegal meeting just to let you know and we're not going to watch this all the way through. I'm going to shut this down in just a moment. Check that out. A lot of residents happy. And we are starting in both of those areas with pouring concrete for um, sidewalks and also alleys and street resurfacing. That started today in certain areas. So tomorrow I will go out and do a video just to show the residents the things that we are actually doing despite all the mess. Um, next, I am also looking for a face painter, balloon artist, caterers, um, and a sweet caterer. Uh, that's that old school butter cookies and old school caramel cakes. I'm looking for all those things um, to happen here in the village of Dalton. So if you're... Don't you feel like Umar Johnson? Interested, let me know because we put together a whole package. So when people rent out our just ice um, rink or other things that I'm, I govern, you guys will have options. Uh, we are With, by govern she means own okay if you change every time she uses the word govern to the word own you'll find out who she really is and what her true intentions are because to this date nobody has rented just ice rink and to this date no money has been brought in from the just ice rink by super mayor tiffany a henyard it hasn't happened. It has no revenue coming to the village, yet the village is paying for security there, for lights there, for electric there, for the concrete, for the epoxy, for all of these things. Okay? So when she says what she governs, she means what she owns. She has taken that land hostage. Send the schedules to all the residents as it relates to um, people, the vendors that did sign up to do the Ripper Winter Program. The problem we had last time was that we didn't have enough vendors to actually complete the Rook and Winter Program. And then the board did stop paying those vendors, so people did stop doing the works for the residents, as you can see. So, again, we're going to try again, and hopefully it works out this time to... Um, Benefit you guys. Gospel Fest. We're having a Gospel Fest on September 23rd, which is a Saturday. It starts at 3 p.m. until 9 p.m. Um, Gospel Fest will be on Greenwood Falls. Those that came out um, this past Sunday, was Sunday time? Sunday, it was really, really awesome. Um, we had Gap Band out, and we also had T.L. Williams out. Um, tons of people came out. A lot of seniors and you came out. Uh, we had go-karts, bouncy houses, face painters, everything, and free food. It was a whole picnic that day. It was awesome. We're doing the same thing because as you can see, I'm trying to heal our neighborhoods because right now so much hatred, negativity in the community. And I know I go back and forth too, so it includes me. So everybody just need um, to find God somewhere in their life that don't have it. And we need to work together and then show a united. So she's having a gospel test and this is Jesus why I have an issue with you. Because you allow people to use your name to abuse other people. And Hare Krishna, Buddha, Muhammad, well, Muhammad does too. But the other gods, they don't allow people to use their names to abuse people. This woman is literally saying she's having a gospel fest so everybody can be on the same gospel-like vibration and get along and let her continue to steal from the village. Front for you, residents. So I When we all know it's just campaign event. That's what it is. It's a campaign event. Do want to apologize for us coming out here and not showing a united front. Hopefully it will get better, but remember this, it always get better in time. And you guys will have the option to vote 
uh, people out of office that you see here before you. Just don't forget uh, what people have done to you because it will be time to repay that favor of people walking out on you. Remember that when they church, do I ask you to vote for them to keep up? Uh, all I can do is just show you the facts and show the proof. You can tell people so many facts as it relates to um, questions they have, but they don't believe the answer is no point of responding. Um, what else do I want to say? Food pantry. Anybody hungry, whether it's the village of Dalton or anywhere in one of the 17 cities, you guys can go and get free food from the food pantry at 15340 Page Street. It's in Harvey. Again, that's There's also a food pantry that's owned by Dr. Scott that she keeps trying to block from expanding. Why? You only gonna be in office for so long. I'm gonna speak with somebody else. I'm gonna speak with myself. And as you see, the two trustees that stayed behind, who respect your time for coming out, they did not walk out on you, residents. Trustee Stan Brown, Trustee Andrew Holmes, they always support every movement. I guarantee you, after three hours and twenty minutes, nobody gives a fuck about her two videos. And I'm not about to put you through that. I'm gonna let you guys go because she is now applauding a rapist over actual trustees who do actual work to keep the village of Dalton from going bankrupt. On that note, that's all I got. Ain't got no more.